Four Charlotte Bound shows in the building. Is Twan Dawn up in here? Man, y'all ready today, man? It's Friday, man. It's Friday. April 12th, 2024, man. The 704 Charlotte Bound show is back. We're live. Ready to go, man. The name of today's show is the show is the stage is set. The stage is set, man. We're two weeks away from the all-knowing, all-powerful NFL draft. And um, we've been away, man. Ramadan is over for me, so I got a lot more time. You know what I'm saying? And it's time to talk football, man. It's, it's time to get right. It's time to talk some strategies before the draft is approaching us. Uh, talk about what we have on the team. I will do a couple of mock drafts today, you know what I'm saying? We haven't really done any, you know what I'm saying? We wanted to wait until we got closer to the show to do mocks, you know what I'm saying? We knew you was going to get a thousand of those from all the other shows, and then we want to hit y'all in the head with them. We wanted to make it, we wanted to do ours as it gets closer uh, so that the picks make sense, you know what I'm saying? And um, look, man. It's Friday, man. Look, uh, if you're at work today, uh, let the 704 Charlotte Bound Show entertain you. Today is a free-for-all show today, man. Cody and uh, C3 do the free-for-all at night, man. I guess we do the free-for-all in the morning. 
on Fridays, man. I got my man Nick Gaskins back in the green room waiting to get in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, but it's going to be a great day, man. It's a great day, man. I'm ready to power and team up with my man right here. Let me go ahead and bring him in the building. Yeah, yeah. Y'all know how we do it, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Nick, what's going on, bro? How you feeling? <laughs> what's up, brother? What's up? What's up, man? It's good, hey, good to be ready, back. Ready to get a show good. popping? Good to, yeah, I'm ready to get it popping, man. Talk some football. I'm going to be back, huh? I'm be back bro. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just happy. I'm getting excited, man. Football, we uh, every day is one day closer. <laughs> it's a punish. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what can we say? It's a punish. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, Josh. You know what I'm saying? Um, the, just hit the like button. Ch- Josh is tuning in via Facebook, man. Like you can check us out right now live on Facebook, on Twitter, uh, also known as X. Uh, we are on uh, uh, um, obviously on YouTube if you're on here right now, and um, we're on two other outlets. Man, why, why am I forgetting the names of TikTok? <laughs> Nah, <laughs> it's the purple joint. Somebody help me out. The purple, the purple label. The purple joint. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna feel crazy, man. It's like, how you gonna be able to join? You don't even know what it Instagram. is. Instagram. Ah. I don't, hey, I must not use this. I must be getting old. Look, me too, man. Look, check this out. Let me go ahead and shout out the people that's in the chat right now, man. Shout out to my man, Metal Lomax, is in the building. What's up? Shout out to him, man. My man King Jermaine JP Shepherd in the building. I see, JP. I see, I see you, I see you see it on the on the on the X, man. JP, you know, no, hey, doing got his, his fatherly duties out there. I didn't even know JP had a kid, man. Cute little kid, <laughs> man. Cute kid. Shout out to Maul. You know what I'm saying? Uh we got Elizabeth Lasted in the building, man. Shout out to Elizabeth. Maul back up in here again. He said, I guess we running on CP time today. Hey man, I can't even be three minutes late. <laughs> they like, man, look, look, stop what you're talking about and start the show, man. Cut it out, man. <laughs> I'm all up in here, man. Look, we got Chi Baby in the building in the morning. He's ready to go. He's ready. He's happy with the with the weapons they got for Bryce. We got to go get some more in the draft. And then, you know, he says, all hell, King Bryce. You know what I'm oh, saying? No. And I, oh, trust, I trust Dan, no. too, bro. I trust Dan, too. I don't know about you know that first comment that he had though. You know? I love Dan too. You know what I'm saying? He made hey look, bro. Hey, he's keeping his word. He's keeping his word. Nick, who, who, who's already in here, but Nick said, you know, what's up? Y'all hit that like button on the way in. Hit the subscribe button. We are at 2,200 subscribers right now, man. Thanks to you guys, man. Shout out to all of y'all. You know what I'm saying? And uh, what, what else? Lux to talk sports in the building. Said what's good. 704. Uh, CBS. Uh, uh, King JB said, GBB already on his, yeah, he, he, you know, yeah, he look, man. Hey, look, bro, but look, he got, look, we're going to see what, what what he looked like this year. I told Nick, Bryce got this year, this year only. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree with you on that one. You ain't got to, you ain't even got to sugarcoat that one for me. There is no, there is no uh, doubt in my mind that Bryce got to get it right this year. Yeah, he got to, man. He got to. He about to get some weapons too. We about to. We're gonna talk about that today about his yeah, potential yeah, yeah, yeah. weapons. He's about to. He probably. Too. He's probably about to be have one of the most loaded offensive offenses with young talent up there. And if you can't get it right with that, that's that probably have ever had at once. You know, you're right. You're right, man. It could be that, right, way. It hey, could be that it, way if they decide to go that way. Hey, we still we got to talk about. They talking about getting rid of Mingo too. <laughs> Make room. <laughs> hey, I'm okay with that, though, man. That man ain't show me nothing. I ain't hey, look, make room. Hey, look. Uh, Kenny, JP said, appreciate it, Twan. Had a kid, unfortunately, bro. What are they? Uh, ooh. I hope that's not a bad, unfortunately. I hope that's not a bad. Hey, look, man. My man. Look, check this out. What's up, Doug? is in the building. Said Twan something by. Let's show you some love, man. Look, man, in case y'all don't know before we even get started, man, we are about three weeks away from the sophomore round table. It's going to be a lot of guys uh, from a lot of different podcasts. We're going to sit down and talk about it when the draft is over. We're going to mix it up, uh, go forward, and we're going to learn a lot about a lot of these guys out here that's doing it that y'all might not know was doing it out here. You know what I'm saying? But look, I trust me. It's going down on Cinco de Mayo, Cinco de Mayo, and uh, we're gonna do it like that on that Sunday evening, man, and, and, and put in that work. And trust me, y'all won't forget any of these dudes after that day. 
They're all incredible podcasters. And look, we, we got some names and some people, man, that y'all going to be like, wow, never knew those guys, man. Like, I've heard of them, but, you know, it's going, you know. So I can't wait for that. <laughs> and uh, finally, uh, JP said, I seen that Mingo rumor, Nick, laughing out loud. Yeah, he can go, man. Make room. <laughs> that man ain't be letting last year, man. Make room. <laughs> hey, but you well, realistically, I don't really see the purpose of getting rid of him because we have the room. Um, even yeah. if we pick up, even if we pick up two wide receivers in the draft, usually usually teams carry somewhere between six six to seven wide receivers into the regular season. But anyway, if you're so. taking up a roster spot before we even get into it like that, you know, then. I mean, yeah, you're right. I mean, if he's somebody going, better than him, then he's just taking up a roster spot. If he's going to give the same showing that he gave last year, all he is is dead weight. So I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. If we gave Bryce, if we give him Bryce Young a second chance, in some ways I feel horrible if we don't give Mingo one too, bro. Because look yeah. who we had throwing to him. <laughs> Here we go. Let's <laughs> I mean, let's be you real, said we giving Bryce a second let's chance. Be honest. Let's be honest. <laughs> Mingo might need one hey, too. Hey, so I'm looking at. I've been reading a lot on this. What's wrong with Bryce? And everybody points to one thing. They said Bryce issue ain't Bryce issue. Is it like the lack of talent? They said Bryce got happy feet. They said he got. I, I heard yeah, it a he lot. Got he got happy feet, man. He, they say he doesn't plant his feet. He doesn't have the arm to do the things like what Patrick Mahomes and all them, some of them do the off schedule throws. So they said his, his, he got to get his feet set properly yeah. and be on time. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but look, man, I go after Bryce Young with the best of them. I mean, I probably started the whole Bryce Sexuals movement, but. <laughs> <laughs> you don't go you really don't go number one in a draft if you don't have talent you know what yeah. i'm saying um and one of the things that we're gonna talk about today man that i i gotta admit man like with nick you know i've been really looking at it and looking hard and i looked at some videos and i looked at some guys talk about some scenarios and and nick is gonna be shocked bro like one of the things we we will discuss today man and, and you know what we could just start right here you know what I'm saying? And I, and I asked the question, was Bryce ever set up for success? <laughs> what? We already know the answer to that one. This is yeah. no, man. <laughs> you, had the, you had the Hunger Games up in the freaking in the damn yeah. front office. What do, what do you expect, man? He was never he was never set up for success, but I'm gonna be one of the people, I'm gonna admit all of that. Look, Bryson had the greatest of weapons. Uh the uh, the run game was still pretty decent because Chuba look Chuba almost got a thousand yards, but we could we could have did so much more with the run game and, and taking the ball. I think at the end of the day, Nick, maybe Bryce had the ball in his hands too much. Should have ran the ball more. I just think it was in his hands too much. Like you know, like we didn't really have any trick plays. Um, yeah, uh, I didn't see a whole lot of check down. You know what I'm saying? I saw him get getting rid of. I him. see. I'm gonna just say this right now. Um, I didn't see a lot of. I didn't. I didn't see a lot of offensive identity at all. No, nah, it was so not. I, we're, we're I didn't know. There was no leadership on the team, and that really kind of counts. But the the things I'm not, and I'm gonna let you go on. You know uh, about Bryce, but look, the things I won't let Bryce get along away with was the dude seemed scared to me you know i mean i'm just telling i really feel like the whole changing things to fit him you know what i'm saying like the whole alabama thing you know it, it just didn't show up you know what i'm saying like that uh the happy feet not letting him get away with the happy feet or whatever but that's something that can be fixed and bryce also with like with the whole hunger games we found out through coaches that uh, Bryce wasn't doing his part sometimes too. Like he wasn't listening to the co or like you know with the whole arm, armband or whatever. You can't be a rookie coming in demanding stuff and wanting to do it your way, you know. And then the result is two and fifteen. So I mean, did he play a part in his demise a little bit? Yep. But you know, I really, really had to ask myself the question, and I'm gonna ask you again. I mean, I know you know the answer to the question. Let's see if we can go into detail with this, though, Nick, when I say, was this man ever really set up for success? Oh, not with the way that the, not with the current way that the 
Well, not with the way that at and, the and time. Keep in, but, mind, keep in mind that one game, and this is what I want you to keep in mind when you're answering. Keep in mind that one game that uh, that our backup quarter, uh, um, the, the Red Rifle came in and played. And let me, let me see like they play. I got something on that one. Oh, I yeah. got something on that I mean, one with that in mind, hit me with that. Yeah. All right. So listen, was he set up for success? No. I mean, that's obviously the, the, the structure of this team, the dynamic of the coaching staff and all that kind of stuff was not there. Um, can we say that it was the team at a, as a whole? No, Rice had his issues too, obviously. We, we're going to say that. I, I, I went back and There's watched. Every, to go around. I would. I, wa- I watched, went back and watched every single game and the things that, I, that I've heard all the commentators saying about his feet, his footwork are true. The man does not get his feet up underneath him. He does not plant to throw the ball. He does not. He don't. He don't. It's just. But those are all things that can be fixed, just like Twan mm-hmm. said. Um. Now, I'm going to say this about the red, the red rifle. The red rifle has been in this league for over ten years, man. Come on, now. we we can't we can't take the fact that Andy Dalton has successfully been in this but league, been a team responded to him though, so we can't yeah, like so, take that out. But you know what the thing about it is is too. Do you expect? Many me to come in there and be a a the leader of the, the a leader of men the way that freaking the red rifle has been the lead, leader of men. You can well, we can we, we did, expect that? We, we did we did see this guy that we should have got do that in Houston. Yeah, and we can Listen. talk about him later too because his team is looking phenomenal. The Listen, Bro, imagine I the actually, that was coming to Carolina. This, this is this is what the thing about it is. I actually think that they they gonna give freaking Patrick Mahomes a run for their money this year. Yeah, yeah, I would love it too. I, did, That's I great just can't. Football. That's great. I just football. can't see. I can't see. Look, Patrick Mahomes and them gonna be in the whole shopping for a whole another wide receiver again because looks like Rice is about to get a little bit of jail time. Something. <laughs> so like. At the end of the day, man, what we should have done, I'm, I'm going to be 100% honest. I never wanted to get Bryce Young, and it's just yeah, because of his fit. It was because, I'm going to tell you this right now. When the physical, I mean, not physical, when the um, attributes or the accolades of the quarterbacks is so, so far, like, not that different and all that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. why not go with the bigger quarterback? Yeah. It's, it, just sounded, it sounded like it was a smart plan to me. These dudes were not that far. Like Bryce was not so much better than CJ Stroud that I could have said, "Oh, if you don't get Bryce, you're a dummy." It was so close that I would have been like, "Okay, all right, let's let's just go ahead and get CJ. CJ six three, two hundred and what, like fifteen pounds? Was it close? Was it huh? Was it close? close, Really? Was it was it close? Was it really? I mean, when it, when it, when you look at the when you look at the college career, it was close. Yeah, but we we all know about how does your game translate over to the pro level? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, and but the, but the thing about it is, a lot of people were looking at Bryce saying that it's the height is not the issue. The height is not the issue. The physical body uh, structure. The it's, physical, it's a, it is a issue, though. Don't make it seem like it's, yeah. it's not the issue. Listen, it listen, is right now. A, too many a quarterbacks. Issue, too many quarterbacks, right? As of lately, have been successful and not been have been vertically challenged. But the difference between those ones that are vertically challenged, the mugs is built like grown men. That's the that was the issue with Bryce for me. That was the hundred percent. Kyler Murray, he's built like a grown man and he can run. Russell Wilson, he's built like a grown man, and he was back in the day could run in and throw the ball. So at the end of the day, his height was not my issue. The yeah. dude trying to get up to 200 pounds when knowing that he York. plays at like one 185. <laughs> yeah, I agree that was that, that was my issue, man. <laughs> I mean, because at the end of the day, I was 185 at, at damn 18. Yeah. At eighteen, I was I was too. Now that I think about it, bro, I was I was one eighty five in my senior year in high school. My senior year of high school, I was one eighty five. My senior year of high school, I'm not. I was like, there's no way. I just felt like, well, I'm actually surprised he didn't get hurt 
it more than other than little tweaking his, his ankle as many hits as he took. Yeah. Yeah. I just like, I mean, I was like watching how many quarterbacks went down last year. The fact that he did not get hurt other than tweaking his ankle that one that one hit, I was like, yo, this is cra- that's crazy. Even CJ Stroud went down. <laughs> yep. Hey, look, let me let me go ahead and segue real quick, man. Look, I want look, check this out, man. It's gonna be a great show today, man. Uh, I want y'all to go ahead, man, and, and start putting y'all hands together for a guy coming to the show, man. Like, this is my mellow. This is my man. Me and this dude been really charged up lately, having a lot of great conversations, not just about sports, but about life, man. But, like, really, really becoming a really good friend of mine, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, hey, look, welcome to the show, man. Popping bullets, man. Let's, let's get him up there. What's up with you? How was y'all? It's popping barely. How y'all, man? How y'all, how y'all feeling? What up, bro? What up, what up, what up? Ah, oh, man, chilling, man. What's up, Nick? What's good? Well, you on a perfect mic today. Your mic never sounded nicer. <laughs> <laughs> His mic sounds nice. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me nice. <laughs> Willis, what up, man? What up, bro? Oh man, I, I had to. I had to. Man, I was just gonna sit back, but I had to disagree with Nick. I was like, ah, what you disagreeing about? So, I think, I think what, what I, I think I know what you were trying to say. So I, I so I'm, I'm just calling. I'm, I'm just chiming in, and maybe just to hear some clarity. When you say he's not built like a grown man, but uh, he was vertically challenged. Now, I think, I think. I get that part when you say uh, vertical cl- challenge, but be honest with you, not to be like a bright supporter or anything like that. <laughs> you know, and he 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 is light in the ass. That's true. No, that, that's what that's what I'm, that's what I'm getting at, man. I'm just saying this: most of the vertically challenged quarterbacks find holes in between the linemen to th- throw the ball through. Right. That's, that's what you call. It. But so, being being the weight that he came in the NFL at and the fact that 250 pound men are are coming to get him and then he can't then he's not a runner. So so that that's what that's that's what I was waiting on because yeah. I don't I'm not even I'm not even mad about his weight to be honest with you because he got hit with 64 times that man still popped up. Yeah as, I mean as a as a grown man I had respect for him for that, man. Yeah, I got. I, got, I, got, I had. I had more respect for him. Respect for him for that getting up every single time than than anything else that he did all season. Yeah, my my only issue was for me is that even though we talk about Kyler Murray or we talk about, um, uh, I see you back there, bro. I, I bring you. Uh, uh, baby, mom, daddy, baby, daddy, whoever the case is, maybe <laughs> Russell yeah. Wilson. Uh, even though we talk about Russell Wilson, they had elite traits though, and that's the thing that gets on my nerves about having Bryce Young. <laughs> it's not it's not necessarily the height, it's not necessarily the weight, is it, it's the fact that he has no physical attributes that can actually show you he can deliver the ball or get away from defenses. Oh uh, yeah. So if you're not fast. And you don't have a big arm. What's your little trait? Because <laughs> it's a physical. It's a physical game. Yeah, I don't know. We've yet to see it. But look, let me let me take this time to go ahead and welcome to the show, man. One more time, uh, we got my man James Island Panther in the building. James, what's going on, bro? Hey, man, what's going on, Tuan? What's up, fellas? How you feeling? How you feeling, bro? Good. I'm feeling pretty good, man. Out here doing some work. <laughs> Um, I, I only can stay on for a second, but hey, um, I just take your time, I, bro. I emailed you, I, and this is off topic, but I mean, I emailed you a couple times, man. Okay, and um, for some reason, um, I'm like permanently banned from the chat or something. I don't know what's going on, but for I can't, our chat? yeah, I'm like, um, I, I put a chat in, nobody, uh, mm. it doesn't come up. I try to do a super sticker or a super chat. Somebody, that, somebody, somebody else says that they can't get in here either, man. Yeah, I want to become a member. Can't, I can't even, it won't let, let me, me, um, 
what like what name does it come through? It's James Island Panther. That's what that's what I'm signed on. Right. Let me let me let me go in. Look, go ahead. Go just let's let's go ahead and just talk this. I'm gonna go in while you guys are talking now to my studio and see if your name is on that list, man. And then I got look, I gotta highlight my staff, bro. I think somebody is blocking people and I don't know it because I didn't do it. I wanna let you in here. <laughs> I know I, I want to support, dude. I love y'all. I love the show, man. I love Yeah, man. Hey, look, let me fix that right now. Go ahead. Let's let's keep cool. it, bro. With cool, cool. me. It was it was probably uh Nick. Oh, here we go with this again. I literally have not did not yeah, do anything. I think it was Nick too. No, nah, I'm going to fix it right now, man. <laughs> you're not the only person behind, the, scenes, the, only person. behind the scenes, man. Throwing throwing Hold wrenches up. <laughs> you, you just gave me you just gave me uh what you call it, like four shows ago. So it definitely was not me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, yo, I mean, I get you popping. I get, I hundred percent get you. It's not, um, a lot of people, a, a lot of people are, are confusing a lot of things. They say that the man's not accurate and all that kind of stuff like that. The reason he's not accurate is because he has happy feet. He is not Patrick Mahomes. That's a fact. He is not Patrick Mahomes. This dude <laughs> cannot throw the ball off his back foot or while he's laying sideways to the ground and the ball be dead on target. Not not continuously. Not hey, this dude, man, this dude something? is a – if he is going to be successful in the NFL, he is going to be more like a traditional quarterback having to plant his feet, having to put the ball where it needs to be in timing. He's going to be more like Tua because Tua is a – his is – to do is successful because of his timing. If that if that if he is going to be successful, that's what he's going to have to be. When he is not, we get these we get the, like these transcendent quarterbacks are so far in between, man. Like literally, basically in the NFL right now, we have what four, four maybe maybe we can say five that are quarterbacks that you can say you can say they won the game because of that quarterback. Yeah, and that's I think. To take back on that, that's exactly why uh, Cam and his he startled everybody, and he wasn't trying to disrespect anybody. But that's the difference between the game, the game manager, and changer. I mean, that's uh, just yes. a fact. So you know, you, yes. you could be a lead. And we, there's like a lead game. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, there's uh, like five yeah. quarterbacks who you can say that are game changing quarterbacks in the NFL. In the NFL, I'm not even talking about in like. Y'all, it's it's like it's not going to be. I'm not. I never. As soon as we drafted Bryce, I never expected him to be any more than okay. This dude can maybe he can win games with a team around him. I didn't. I didn't expect him to be baby Jesus. <laughs> yeah, y'all kind of did. <laughs> no, I did not. The dude is. The dude is. <laughs> the dude has okay arm strength. This is this is exactly what was on his desk. He has okay arm strength. He's not a runner. He's 5'10 and he's 185 pounds. Soaking wet. If, if you thought he was gonna be the next coming of something, you were smoking some real good crack. <laughs> I mean, literally, literally, those measurements you just you just gave me is a is a safety. <laughs> that's what you just told me. That's that's a safety. So, you didn't mention arm strength. I'm like, okay, he's a safety. He, he boy, he's a cornerback. Hey, can I point out one play? Go ahead. <laughs> Y'all remember that? What was it? Ten or fifteen yard flea flicker from last year. That told me everything I needed to see right there. That was terrible. I was like, yeah. oh, we got a flea flicker. Oh, he's checking down. Damn. Yeah, the playbook man. was so horrible, man. Listen, I don't know. <laughs> so I think that this too, like there's a lot of people are probably gonna probably gonna disagree with me on this one, but um Frank Wright was not the coach for our team. Um, I believe that going with a younger coach, everybody was like, oh, don't get a younger coach, don't get a younger coach, because we tried that already. I was like, no, we tried a coach from the college. 
we didn't get somebody who was a coordinator and bring them in a coordinator in the NFL and bring them in here and let them try to build the team. We bought some random dude from college who was known for building teams, not even known for matter of fact, he wasn't really known for defense or offense. He was just known for picking people to say that, Hey, you, you got some talent. That's what he was known for, man. Like at the end of the day, man, we have to, we, this current state of the NFL, if your offensive coordinator or your offensive or your offensive minded head coach aren't innovators, you ain't about to, you ain't about to win no games in this league. Yeah. Cause everybody, everybody does this, man. So Frank Wright should have known better from the get go. Frank Wright tries to fit is is a habitually trying to fit a square peg in a round hole type of person. Man, Frank Frank Wright took that the job with us because he got fired from his old jobs. <laughs> uh, he got a free check and uh, they replaced him with uh, with a center, Jeff Saturday. <laughs> and if if and he said to himself, uh, if if this if the owner of the Panthers is dumb enough to hire me. And pay me this amount of money, you know, when when I when my coaching days really are behind me, then I'll go and go get that money. We would have all done that. We would have all done that, man. Hey, look, even if with the whole Hunger Games thing, it, even if Frank Reich was not bothered and he didn't have to answer to stupid, let's just, let's just say that. Let's say if Tepper was the great was was a great owner, right? Oh, it still would have been let's, trash. Let's take the bad ownership out of it. Even if Tepper was a good owner, he still would have been trash. <laughs> Trying to fit a round, I mean, a square peg in a round hole, that is the type of person he is. If you actually look at the successful offensive-minded uh, head coaches right now, them mugs take their system to the quarterback that they have. Why the hell do you think freaking Sean Navey was – is able to play with any quarterback. Why do you think right. that freaking, uh, freaking, I can't even think it's now, Kyle Shanahan can play with any quarterback? Brock Purdy. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of the day, we needed like, an innovator. I'm hoping that, I'm hoping that Canales is that. We will see. It's yet to see. I can't say that one season with freaking as an offensive coordinator makes him. Great, but we'll see. Yeah. All right, yeah. fellas, I'm going to get going. My customers are looking at me. Why is hey, it, hey, why is look, it check, working? Check this out. Um, <laughs> look, see, James. Yeah. Hit, what email did you send it to? Tuan Don? Yeah, it was the Tuan Don 37. At, at, hey, look, that will be fixed by the end of the day, man. So hit, hit me back later just so, so I can make so I can let you know that you're back and right. I apologize for whoever did that. They probably did it in error. I know it was. I know it wasn't intentional, man. I know. It yeah. Wasn't. No. No. I, I want to go ahead and say right now while we're on here, though. No admins on this show should be blocking anybody without my permission. All right. You can block them temporarily if they say something crazy, but blocking them from the show—that's that, <laughs> a no go. Yeah, that's crazy. You have, yeah. you heard, I'll you have that fixed. Yeah. You heard Twan. Go to work, man. <laughs> all right, Listen, lady, y'all. I'll be one. Right. To, I wouldn't. I'll be one to block G, uh, G Baby all the time, but I don't even mess with him. Nah, G Baby, good people, man. He's just erratic. <laughs> <laughs> you know who I be? You know who I be one to drop block for real? C Dog. C Dog. <laughs> yeah. C Dog be killing me, boy. I'm about to tell C Dog to chill. I got some emails. People were like, man, I will watch your show more, man. But C Dog, I'm like, C Dog's not on the staff, bro. <laughs> C Dog coming here, man. That mother be going off, man. You got to. Yeah, yeah, but we have a look. We have a show where everybody has a word, man. You know, you yeah, everybody got their own, everybody got their own got their own <laughs> opinion, and everybody's allowed to speak. Yeah, so I'm exactly. good with it. But good or bad, man. If you get out of control, you out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's just the he's just he's, very he's very passionate he's very yeah. passionate least to say he's very passionate i would yeah. love to hear sea dog one day when he's not high no sea dog coming here before he when he's not chemically getting... induced sea <laughs> dog coming here before and be 
before he starts getting chemically induced and, and, and be going off. Sea Dog just like that, man. That's just him. He just kind of, he look just, he, yeah, yeah, that's just him. He, just he, might be, he might be calmer when he's induced. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think he, yeah. Sea Dog, Sea Dog is the most negative person. Hey, I don't think Sea Dog like nobody on our team. Nobody. Sea <laughs> Dog is the most passionate negative jump. person on the planet. Hey, King, uh, <laughs> hey you know, said, seven, seven matters, years man. of losing will do it to you. Behind six foot six, six foot five, old lineman. That height I, matters, bro. Height does not matter. Height. Okay. Does. Height you does matter. It does. It does. Height doesn't matter to an extent. You gotta be. You gotta be. You gotta know your your throwing lanes, and you gotta be. You gotta be. That's why. That's the only reason Drew Brees was as, as successful as he was because he knew them throwing lanes. That mug would get in between them two, them two freak the tackle and the what's called, and put the ball right over their head before you could even think about it. Yeah. So I do to an extent, man. I'm just saying, man. His biggest flaw was not his was not his height. His biggest flaw was not his height. His biggest flaw was his happy feet. He <laughs> just wasn't prepared either, man. I, he, and, he was prepared, man. and yeah, and like I like Josh McCown and all that kind of stuff like that, man. But I don't. I did not. Like no, no. I like, thought, well, I think, I thought Josh, I think Josh was McCown, a mistake too. I, did I think not. Josh McCown <laughs> needed to be a needed to be a on the staff like a. I'm just starting out, not just going straight. I'm a quarterback coach because I was a quarterback, and I and I didn't start in this league for what? For how long? <laughs> so look, man. Uh, right now is a segue. Look, uh, we never did this before, but I want to go ahead and hit it now, man. Look, shout out to all the members of the 704 Charlotte Bound Show, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all the memberships, you know what I'm saying? If you want to become a member today, man, please go to the join button, sign up, pick one of the packages that you can afford and become a member of the 704 Nation out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my man, Yusuf uh, Stone. Uh, Stone. We got Christian Ledane, uh, Ray up in here, uh, Rock and Blue. It's McCaz, 698-336 Boston, Petey Quig, uh, Bitchikens, Texas Swarm, 713 uh, Jermaine J.P. Shepard, man, Flame for Jesus, Elizabeth Lasseter, and the people that are on there now, it's more people that have added, but I got to add them to the list. But shout out to all our members out there, man. You know what I'm saying? We got members only shows coming very soon, man. I, I love, I love what, um, I want to um, uh, tell Pop them real quick. I love what they're doing over there with Black Cat, you know, with they with their little mem the members only situations and the members only being able to um, come in in the chat, you know what I'm saying? But we we got some we got some members only stuff coming, man. We got some fights coming up that we're gonna be showing in 4K. You don't have to pay a dime if you're a member. Yeah, they're going crazy over there on that members only. Uh, Panther Black Cat at the dark. Yeah, it get get real crazy over there. It's real real uncut if you get if you get on that. <laughs> <laughs> it's dicey. <laughs> All right, man. So look, Nick. Um <laughs> That was a good one. Look at Biscuits. Look at Biscuits in here, boy. <laughs> hey, look at she in here, man. She got she didn't she didn't, okay. she didn't. At least I hey, look, at least I know it's a she now, bro. <laughs> it's an ad draft. <laughs> nah. But uh, look, hold on, hold on, hold on. We, uh, Edge, uh, we got Edge in the chat, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, laughing, he says, "Sea Dog uh, has a lot of." Hey, Edge, where are you at, bro? Why am I reading this? <laughs> <laughs> and said so he, yeah, work. See, there's a thing about it, is man. I'm at work. That must be at work. But I work at home. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me hear some other people. Joshua Butler in here said, "Young's deep balls uh, made me uh, mad." Uh, the most because he uh, overthrew all of them. He did. I mean, it, it, look, man. I'm you trying to tell me, you. I keep Niggas telling admit that. Hey, you admitted it, though. You admitted yeah, it. It, it happy wasn't feet. just as high. It was his happy feet. Feet. He just out. He outright overthrew players a lot of times. I couldn't stand that he always threw the ball away. And but you know what? Asked, you know what the issue is, too? Mentioned earlier that, that I hated that Bryce Young did not do. It was so many opportunities when he could have took off running, man, and just ran out of bounds. Yep, he stayed back there and, and, and cut all that heat. Yeah, hey, so why you just saying that? Like, 
everything that I'm admitting to, man, everything that what you call could be brought back to the one thing that you said and the one thing that I said. Happy feet, overthrowing the ball. It's, yep. it's and then his happy feet, I believe, is because just like you said, he said he he, he was probably scared. Oh, look at this, look at this six five monster come running at me. <laughs> Hey, when you got a hey, when fear pops into your mind, your whole fundamentals go out the, out the, <laughs> go out the, go out the window. Man. I love Black Cat out the dark. It's not for the weak hearted. Oh, so I, I'm assuming you gonna go up in there, bro, and you catch a body up in there. So I'm like, you don't come in there correct, bro. <laughs> um, I, I agree. I think, I mean, honestly, I think the best thing he could have did. Um, what, well, the worst thing we did, we hired the wrong coach. So I think we all agree the situation from the very that he was from the very beginning, the situation he, he that he was put in from the, the day one, the situation they put him in was unfair. But that's a, this is why I've been trying to tell people from a standpoint of stop putting certain players on a pedestal that they haven't showed you nothing yet. Exactly. You know, stop comparing Pop, them. Perfect, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, let him finish, Nick. Let him finish. No, no, no. Let him finish. I'll, 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 no, go ahead, Pop. Right you finish what you said, but I'm right coming now. for Twan after cook. this. Let him cook. A lot of people put Bryce on that pedestal before he did anything. But go ahead, Pop. Right, right. So, and, and so you can't, you can't say in one hand, oh, he was put in a bad situation. And he didn't perform, and then turn around and put him on a high pedestal, like that. Don't that contradicted itself? That don't make sense. Because if he didn't perform and he wasn't put in, in the right situation, of course it was going to fail. Of course it was going to fail. Of course it was going to fail. But uh, with that being said, go ahead, Nick. Hey, I mean, look, if you one, if you put one. if I put popping bullets and Nick on a job. And I don't train them right, then they, I can't get mad at them and they're destroying the place, bro. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Go ahead, Nick. Exactly what I was saying with Brian Burns. This is a what have you done for me lately league. Not a not a not a league where oh, oh Nick. Oh Nick. It don't have oh. nothing to do with Bryce Young, bro. <laughs> Y'all boosted oh. that man. Up. No, no, I won't say you. I'm saying the Bryce lovers. They oh, boosted I'm that not, man up like he was the second coming. Nobody they I, boosted I, Bryce up like he was the second coming. Of what? The, 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 it wasn't just the Bryce sexuals. The media said he thought better. He did everything better. He was a better son. He was a year everything two. Everything. He was a player. He had a mind of Peyton. Peyton. I mean, he like, pays what? bills on time. This is the type of guy this, you want to do Peyton. <laughs> I mean, bro, look, uh, uh, my man couldn't catch a break, bro. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you got too much level. pressure on him. Yeah, I told him the whole time, popping. I said that same media that builds you up will tear you down, bro. <laughs> and, 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 and Nick, I, not I'm the not, media love, not they love CJ Stroud, bro. Right, and they I'm about to kill him. <laughs> kill that whole Brian Burns discussion because I don't want to talk about him no more. But <laughs> Nick, if you really look at it. Most of the Hall of Famers that that have been edge rushers average seven to eight sacks per year. Most of the Hall of Famers. So we can't say what have you done lately if he if that's all he's been giving you is seven to nine sacks a year. Because the Hall of Famers that played for long times and got the accolades gave you seven to nine sacks a year through their career. Can I say something too, man? I gotta say something too. I just wanted wanted to I I just I wanna say something just to end this whole thing with the Brian Burns thing too, man. For all you for all the Burns haters too, man. This is I'm picking backing off what uh Pop just said, but look, understand this. If you know football, right? When people go yelling who on what team had more sacks than Burns, or what what, or whatever people do this in the future, well, whoever we got. Remember, if somebody gets 16, 17, 18 sacks in a season, they're not going to do that every year, bro. They no. just had an outstanding year. <laughs> I'm not asking for the 16, 17, 18 Man, They sacks. might, they might 18. give you 10 the next year or not. They can't this what, keep repeating those 16 sacks a season. But this is what I'm going to say, Nick. 
Be, be careful about talking about Brian Byron. I'm just joking, messing. I'm right, just joking right. around, man. Because <laughs> check out, Nick. We're we going to have to see him and Thibodeau. So now they got an edge rusher on both sides. Oh, yeah, so, 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 so we got hey, all I'm hoping is this. this all I'm hoping is this. <laughs> I believe, this gonna be, I, I believe this O-line going to be I believe this O-line going to be better. I believe we're going to get a, a center out this draft and I believe by the time we see New York if we don't play them early that we'll be able to scheme to get that ball out quickly away from either one of those edge rushers because I know what you're saying uh Twan you don't care about Thibodeau, but now he got some help which we've been asking Brian for the team to get Brian Burns some help. So now you got two good edge rushers coming off the side. <laughs> I'm just saying I'm saying this reluctantly, but I'm I'm gonna just go ahead and say that I'm, this is my path that I'm saying this right now, though. Brian Burns ain't gonna get in our backfield like he think he is. <laughs> I don't think so either. Cause I think I think the players will know what the stakes at hand will be at that time. I'm I think he's gonna do everything in his power to get back there. <laughs> he might play that game the hardest, but I don't think he's gonna get back there like he think he is. Hey. So and then depending on what side he play on, if he play on which, if he play on Taylor Moten's side, he ain't getting back in the backfield. Right, I don't care. He's gonna get past Taylor Moten. He can get past. He's him. not getting past Taylor Moten. Man. Uh, so yeah, Taylor Moten give up like one or two sacks yeah, a season. I'm ready to so, I'm, ready to so I'm gonna tell you. So. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. If I was them, I'm putting them on the other side anyway because that's our weak side. <laughs> <laughs> no shots fired. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, you coming for Icky. You and Jay. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to. I'm okay, not even going to. At least I'm seeing Icky out here working like out, that. man. Uh, I ain't seen Bryce Young on no workout tapes. I ain't see him lift no weights. I ain't even see him over the oh, over over the off season or whatever. I thought he was going. I was. I was like, look, hopefully he'll come back a little bigger or something or whatever. Same Bryce. He came in first day of the of the, the workouts, walking in a pigeon toe like he always do. Waving at the cameras like a little boy, man. You know, I just don't like Bryce Young's aura. Can I just say that? I don't like his aura, man. He just not a, he don't come across like no leader. He ain't gonna get in nobody's face, man. You need that type of quarterback, bro. I would laugh if Bryce Young got mad at me and yelled at me, bro. <laughs> but look, man, look, hopefully. Hey Pop, listen. The quarterback got to be the the biggest leader on the team, though, right? Not necessarily every time, but he got to be one of them, right? Yeah, I mean, he has to. The the coach has to have the locker room. That's one leader. The 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 uh, quarterback has to be able to lead the offense, and you're supposed to have one or two leaders on that defense, whether it's your middle linebacker. Uh, I've even I've even heard uh, safeties being leaders. But you're gonna have to have a leader on on all defense on the, on all around the ball, uh, of the game. Yeah, so quarterback's got to be a leader. Yeah, man, I, he's got to step up, man. You know, in that regards, I mean, and I don't even you can't teach leadership. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, man. But he 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 led in one way that I can't say. One thing I can't say: Bryce ain't never complained. He ain't get out here in social media. He didn't allow any. That ain't him though. I mean, he ain't, he ain't built like that. But but some 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 guys are like that. Some guys can't stay off their internet. And, yeah. And, and some 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 people are, some athletes. But we know them type really of guys, though. We yeah. know them type of guys. I mean, look, um, CJ Stroud, he he don't do that either. You know what I'm saying? I mean, some of these guys are just not built like that. And then, but you got guys like, uh, what was the um, what was this uh the 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 middle linebacker for the Dallas Cowboys that got the podcast or whatever. Not middle linebacker. You talking about Not, the linebacker? Huh? The linebacker. You talking about freaking? Um, oh, Parsons. Mike Parsons. Parsons. Yeah. yeah. Mike. See, he do too much talking. All yeah. See, the time. you got some guys that talk too much, bro. Hey, can I say what I was saying before my internet decided to act stupid? Yeah, bro. I was like, this dude is is a three body problem right now. This dude is in another galaxy somewhere. Yeah, I heard. Hey, look, listen. This is what I say, Antoine. If we draft this, people gonna have people gonna have a hard time staying on the offense is gonna have a hard time staying on the field for us anyways. I'm gonna just let, so? I, I I I went back. I'm gonna say you were saying it from the get go. I went back, watched all of y'all games this year. That dude, if you put that dude beside uh Derek Brown, you're gonna have some issues. Who? You saw Brady Brady Fisk? Yeah. Yes. 
already you posted just, that on Twitter everywhere, bro. I don't. I don't think he's gonna make it to that, bro. I don't. I don't think he's gonna make it to make it to it, bro. I don't. I really don't. I don't think he's gonna. Nah, he's gonna gonna I think he's going in the first round. Brady Fisk ain't going in the first. Oh no, he's going in the fifth first round, man. I think he's going. I think he he, just—he really did have just. He look. He had a he had a decent year the year before this year. His breakout year was this year at Florida State because he because he transferred in from another from like Kansas. No, it was it was something Kentucky State or some crap like that. Yeah, and um. And then I don't think that look, I don't think that combine is just gonna automatically bump you to the first, bro. But this is my thing, Twan. And reason why I said reason why I said I think he's going in the first. For one, it's not a deep class that he's in as far as deep tacklers, not a whole bunch of them that I, I that I would say is top tier talent. But look at all the teams that had hit got hit with injury bugs on their defense, especially the defensive line. That's why I think he's going in the first round. Yeah, but the thing about it is is most of the teams that you the thing about it is, man. One, I believe if anything gets overdrafted this year, it's gonna be a it's gonna be wide receiver. And hey, I know exactly what you said that that that, that um that people shouldn't just look at their uh the combine and say, okay, we got to draft this person. But dude, I believe that you know, at this point, looking at some of these draft boards and stuff like that that people got up, I believe that you know, worthy might go in the first round. Nah. No, nah. oh I, don't, I don't think that. But you know, we're gonna talk strategy like that or whatever. I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not talking I, I strategy. Like, I don't bro, listen. I, I think we, see fans think teams are gonna pick guys based on the forty time in in a combine. Fans think that. And it I, ain't just the fans. It's these. these but look, but let me say this though, Nick. Do you agree? The same thing. The same thing. Oh, but Nick, would you agree? I'm asking you to chat and pop it. But would you agree? That went that a lot of bad teams reach for that type of stuff, though, bro. Yes, they bad do. teams see stuff like that and go, they, Oh, we got to get him. Yes, bro, and I, that's, that's why I think this is gonna happen. To do, <laughs> I think that it's gonna happen. Matter of fact, I'm gonna say this it's not even a bad team, I think, is gonna reach for him. If he goes in the first round, you know where I think he's going 32. Who, 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 who you talking about? You talking about Brandon Fritz or, or Worthy? No, no, no it's Worthy, Worthy. Xavier Worthy. Let me tell you something about Xavier Worthy real quick. Listen, Carolina Panthers fans, if you're thinking about getting Xavier Worthy, stop it. I don't. You don't don't need no little dude in the backfield trying to get it to another little dude running out to get a pass, man. Hey, stop it, bro. Hey, we run too fast. Twan, now – I was a big. I can't my, even my, throw that far. <laughs> Tank Dale was my sleep, sleeper last year before anybody was talking to him. I was, you know, I talked a black cat about him uh, before he got drafted. Now think about it. This guy is faster, can run routes just as good, even though he has the speed to take it off top. We, I mean, you don't want that weapon. And then you look at this is another reason why I want Worthy. I'm a, I'm a because we don't go. I, I, I get I'm it. You, and I'm I might be. Hold on. Hold on. Go. I got. I got. I got <laughs> let, him, let, him, let him cook. Let him cook. Let, him, let him cook a little bit. Have y'all not seen the the new kickoff strategy that they're doing? Like what they doing? Yeah, yeah. Do you not want you somebody? The reason why they want that for one is to calm down on, on concussions, right? But you're literally that nobody can move until the catcher gets the ball. Man, they can't. And where and where they're lined up, bro? When you got somebody with that type of speed can get downfield fast he's a weapon we don't have that type of speed on our team at all i'm gonna tell you this right now oh tight oh tight because we, we we disrespected this man too long right now man. Ooh. this man has sent us money on the vice let's get to this <laughs> it's a super chat man shout out to navash man uh with the five dollar super chat man shout out to navash appreciate that brother he said look that team last year took on the identity and the personality of the head coach and quarterback. Soft-spoken, non-aggressive, no passion. And the players played like that. He is 100% correct. He said no lies right there. I couldn't have said it better, man. Our Uh, team was doomed from the beginning, but we already said that. It was doomed. You know what I'm saying? We we was all hyped up, you know, with the whole Avengers or whatever, and then it turned out that these coaches didn't even trust each other. <laughs> they okay. tell him like 
Yeah. They tell them like they all had 20 years of prison facing them. I'm just I'm just saying there's more than one way to, to skin a cat. You you don't have to just be a deep threat, you know what I'm saying? You can put them in the slot because you gotta also understand you're not gonna have a ceiling probably after this year. Terrence Marshall, Terrence Marshall Jr. is probably gone. So that's probably fine. Right. You know and, and then and, and then you out. already but he's been getting hit all his life playing football. But he ain't, been hit, he, he ain't been hit like he I like he, he, <laughs> Listen, if, if, if were, little you, if Tank Dale smaller, if Tank Dale can survive, the the tank, the tank, he didn't survive. He didn't play at the end of the year. What the reason why? But that was a that was a a, a freaky accident, bro. That was a pile where did up. Tank Dale go play at though. Where was he at? He was in uh Texas. Uh, where he Houston, playing? right? Houston, yeah, he was in Houston. He went to a team where the quarterback could get him the ball, man, because he's a deep threat as well. I, I get that, but they and didn't. That's use how it. he was primarily used all year. <laughs> well, no, because Collins was the deep threat. Collins was the one who was going downfield and picking up the big yards. He was used right. as a slot. Listen, slot, okay, slot. This, is what I'm, this is what I'm gonna say right now to come 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 to combat this right now, saying that forty time got John Ross into the top ten, just like JP was saying. Then I'm gonna put you put it to you like this, man. I'm not. I'm not impressed. I am not impressed. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me point something out real quick because it's on topic. I'm gonna let you go, Nick. JP Shepard said, "Didn't John Ross go top um ten because of his forty time?" And then Flavor you just, Jesus you just say that. I just said that. Flavor Jesus said, "Yes, he did. He, he did, King Jermaine. But what did he turn out to be, bro? <laughs> Nothing. Right. He's just fast. But see, the, the, th the thing about John Ross and the difference between. Worthy is actually worthy can run routes. John Ross Ross was not known to run routes. He sucked at that. Man, Everybody knew that he was a track star. I don't, star, see, where, where football no route tree. I, don't see, I didn't see that. <laughs> I, I I watched it, bro. I watched a lot. That of man ran. A, hey, he ran a lot of nine routes, man. I'm sorry. He let a lot of deep routes. I didn't see a lot of whole, I, he did not have the whole route tree, bro. Not I, at I, all. <laughs> I've seen a lot of different routes from him, bro. But I'm just saying, you don't have to use him that way. That might be with the system where they had him run because they knew what his speed is. That don't I mean you got to come in. The, 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 the wide receivers is out there anyway. But like he, what, like I said, he, 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 he not getting past Kansas City, so it don't matter what I'm just, talking about. I'm just he letting you past Kansas City. I'm going to let you know right now. I'm going to let you know right now. That'd be a great worthy, place to go too. Because worthy is, is a worthy is. I mean, he's he's all right, man. But I'm just let you know right now. There are so many better route running wide receivers. Yeah, that that's slower what than him. That are in this draft. Anyway. I'll take Roman Wilson's little ass before I take freaking worthy. Roman Wilson is a better route runner than he is. So J JP um, um agree with what Pop said too. He said, "Yeah, Dell is a short area quickness guy. Collins was more of the big down the field um threat guy though. But they can they, both they, do it. They they both can do it. But how they <laughs> use it? I'm telling I'm telling you, it wasn't just the nine, bro. I promise you, bro. I went and watched the safe, and, and I wouldn't be this, saying, I, I wouldn't be going to bat for him. It wasn't the nine him. route. It wasn't just the nine route. But however, the things that I saw from him were, I mean. They were, man. It's they were, It's not like that. I'm not good. They was to okay. I mean, because there are, there are a couple plays. There are a couple. Plays. He does catch better than John Ross does too. I'm gonna put that. In, I'm gonna put that that's, in. Put that's that true in. too. He catches better than John Ross does. Ross is and, garbage. And hold on, hold on. Let me finish this one. And the mug does have short area quickness, like a lot of y'all are saying about. It. He got and, a lot. He got a lot of short area quickness. The man can. He will catch the ball. At a full stop and go from zero to one hundred real quick and make people miss. I'm telling you, go watch. I mean, it. Go, it, ain't, go. it ain't it ain't no making nobody miss if you can't if you if the dude is Fast a full stop shit. and then turn and turn and goes straight up the wheelchair. He does he does some Tyreek Hill ish things, not right. to the level that Tyreek Hill does. Right, but I'm just saying, I don't think one. I don't think Bryce Bryce. Is the right right type of quarterback for, but we can't for, hold on for this type of wide receiver. But this is this is our thing. This is our problem, Nick. Everything we doing is to do what to help Bryce, right? So we ain't got no. At, we we. I, mean, I, it, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. Hold on. Let me finish. They want to get the ball out in two point five seconds, right? You got this dude who's fast as hell, 
who if I mean I don't know how he does on press coverage, but if they're playing zone in 2.5 seconds, Worthy is out of there. He gone. Shoot, he out. Quick pass. Mm, the ball is. The I don't ball know about up. that. <laughs> okay, hey, look, okay. man. And you got the right corner. Seconds, you got look, one of the fastest wide receivers. You got one get open you, as quick. You right can the ball to him who can get open. I don't see as I don't see that as a problem. You know, well, what Pop, saying? if I, you got the right corner in front of you, he gonna jam you up, bro. Especially that's, if you small like that. But that's what any cor- That's what any good corner. Uh, I mean, so the, and I'm glad you said that, which is why I look. Me personally, I like the physical wide receivers. I like the guy that can get you off of it. the yak guy. You know what I'm saying? He he's fat. He I look, I, I'm willing to take off some of the speed for a guy that can get you off of him and that can yep. get by you. <laughs> yep. Hey. I, I look, I, I like the speed, man, but I like the dude that can get you off of him. You know what I'm saying? Uh that, that, you know, that can cut in that middle because you know, and, and not worry about uh taking some types of hits or whatever. But even if you trying to tackle this dude, he can get you off of him and continue to run with that yak, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, opposed to a guy that could just – all he can do is just juke you and get you off your get you off your foot sometimes during the game and beat you on speed, man. But, look, is Xavier Worthy, man, I just don't see him fighting nobody off and receivers like him or Tank Dell. It ain't – it ain't they not no yak receivers, bro. When you go to, to tackle them, they going down. You know, and uh, yes. shout out to and that's true, man. That's that's true. Wrong. He said, like Calvin Johnson, bro. I like the bigger receivers. I'm I, that's just me, though, Nick and Pop. You know what I'm saying? I like the yeah, physical receivers, the ones that's gonna I, I, get you up off them right at the point of contact, bro. I agree, I, I agree. And that, and, then, and let's stay right there, Twan. Remember when we said having expectations or putting these guys at a, at a level that, the, that you shouldn't? Well, this is where Moose Muhammad and Steve Smith did, they put uh, uh. What's his name up there? Like, oh yeah, he's gonna be the next so and so. And he came out here and did what? Mingo look didn't look good. He didn't look good. He's a big physical receiver. He's your uh, possessor type of guy. Uh, but they put in college, though. But they put. But, they put they, but I'm just saying they put him to, <laughs> on such a high status and a high notice. Like everybody be on alert. Just in, in about this year in about three years, he's gonna be that guy. That's your also. big physical. That's your big physical guy. I mean, you know, you already hear the rumors about talking about trading him. I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't see him nah, going nowhere. They're not gonna do that. So if you got two route runners, right? You got. That's why I don't. Want, that's why I don't like. I don't want Lad McConkle. I won't be bad if we get him. But like I said, that would be just the replacement for Thielen. If you I don't get so. a Lad McConkle, hey, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna let you know. At 33, I won't let it. The guy I see is Thielen's replacement. Because you can get him a little later, is Ricky Persall out of Florida? <laughs> Ricky Persall. That's what I thought. I knew you was gonna say. Yeah, yeah he, he, he's 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 and he's. I'm talking hey, about figuratively, I'm, ethnically, same size, <laughs> same size route. He's a smooth route the, runner. The he thing about it is, is that this that is the that's what I'm trying to say. Xavier Worthy. I'm not gonna say he a one trick pony. He might be a two trick pony. I'm gonna give you two. I'm gonna give you two. But at the end of the day. There are some route running monsters in this draft. I'm talking oh, yeah. about dude, two dudes that lack some of the physical, the physical attributes that are just so good at running routes that mm-hmm. the moment they hit you with them with them shoulders, they go they, they you going this way, they going that way. There's, 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 a, there's a few of them. There's a few. I like that's why I like Brendan Rice. You want a big physical receiver that know yeah. how to run routes? He can do it. If that's can't what you want, bro. Can't come for me all day, but you already you already know why, Nick. But listen, the thing <laughs> is this: the reason why I say these type of receivers is because that's the kind of receivers that Bryce Young need. Bryce he needs does. Bryce needs receivers where he knows where they're going to be on, during a route, bro. He don't need to be compromising back there, and because Bryce ain't the throw you open type of receiver right now, man. He needs to know where his receiver is supposed to be, and and, and get get them timing routes um, down right. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and stick them guys, you know what I'm saying? He yeah. needs some a guy he can throw to between 20, 25 yards. Like when he, when it comes to him throwing deep balls and things like that, that like that guy can hang out in that area like that. Bryce, I don't even did he even complete a, a pass over fifty yards last year? I don't think so. No, I don't think he did. I don't think. You know? I think it was like I think it was like forty to um to DJ Chark. I but, think he I think he over overthrew a lot of them. 
Uh, JP said Worthy in Carolina uh, would be used uh, as clear guy to uh, defense figured out that Bryce won't push the ball downfield. Exactly. I mean, look, people scout for that. Worthy would be a wasted pick unless you go after a big arm quarterback, which is what I was saying earlier, bro. You Bryce needs a route running Monster. big receiver. <laughs> Hey, I'm telling you, you right can now. bail him out when he when he throws something terrible, bro. I'm telling you right now, you give him these big targets because this is the, I agree with you. That's the type of court, wide receivers he need. You give him these big targets. One, the dudes who are good route runners, and the dudes who also the first dude that hit him hit them rarely get them down. Right. Well, if that's the case, then Tuan, go get your tight ends. They go your big route running. Receiver, go get you, go get you, but Ben Sanat, you know, uh, there's several good tight ends you can go out there and get that big physical and get you, go get you. A big I mean, yeah, end. but there's, but there's also, there's also two or three wide, two or three big wide receivers. wide receivers that are are good route runners. Um, I, I, I tend to agree with, um, well, see, I'm just saying I that, tend bro. to agree with oh, yeah. Juan. I do like Keenan Coleman, um. Yeah. But I think that I think that at the end of the day, I um I could see them taking Leggett. I can't see if, them. If taking we took Leggett, Leggett I would. I'm gonna be. Honest, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I wouldn't be upset. Nah, he's a, he's a he's a decent sized dude, and I think that that's the type of target that if we that double them, we could get them both. But I wouldn't be upset. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I wouldn't be upset. I, I I just, honestly, in all honesty, I think we're gonna double dip. I think we're gonna Bro, double. If dip. we double dip, starting off with, I would not be mad. But see, this is the things that we we can't get caught up in uh, on these podcasts and, and, and fans. Sometimes is that um, guys, we're not gonna win everything in the first year. You can't. You're not gonna get everything you want in the draft. No, 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 no. With got the draft, years to build it. <laughs> yeah, I honestly, but you gotta go I'm gonna, out the way. say this for on. available in this draft and build up that way. Uh, so if you don't get a tight end in this year's draft, don't be upset. It's nah, gonna be somebody I'm, out there like we didn't get a safety or we didn't we didn't get a we didn't get a corner earlier. What look, man, we got years to get oh, yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, we ain't yeah. winning the Super Bowl next year. <laughs> yeah, but but look, this one, I'm gonna say this: if this continues and we are able to get better this year, I'm not asking the I'm not asking to win. 11 games, I'm saying get to six, seven, maybe eight, and nine if it's if it's a if it's a great season. Like, like, there you go. There you go. I'm, listen, <laughs> I said I'm, I'm saying six, seven, eight, get I'll take some more. Seven. I'll take the seven. Get to, get to seven wins. Okay, I'll give you that one. We get to seven wins. I will think that right now, if we do that, Bryce plays better. I think that you can see that Dan Morgan. Is is doing what we need to do, and I think that if the I think that next the following year we could probably get into the into the win column. I'm not saying we the following year we go. To, a lot of people were saying we're not going to be good for the next seven years. I think Dan Morgan is going to have us better than a lot of people think in the next two, three two, years. two, two to three years. Yeah, I think we're we'll being slept on. I'm not going to anoint him as the the GM of what y'all, but I can tell you right now. We have not had a GM in years that build from the trenches the way this man has done. This I love the moves, season. man. That, I love that's the true. moves, bro. That, that's I love true. that he ain't afraid to do this type of stuff, bro. <laughs> this man went straight for the <laughs> offensive line and defensive line from the start. He did not try. Hey, can I tell to... you this though? Like y'all tell me if I'm wrong, right? Everything mm. that we're doing right now to me says David Tepper doesn't have his hands on any of this. It does. It does. It. <laughs> It, Listen, it reads, it reads Morgan saying, I got this chill. <laughs> right, right now, right now, I feel like it's saying that, but I have to wait till after the draft to get yeah, my full right. synopsis because David Tepper, you know, none of us trust him. You don't uh, want that heat, man. I mean, he, 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 Listen, he all, I'm telling he you all, right now, Twan, you remember? Leave it alone, bro. You, you remember last alone. year? You remember last year, Twan? I mean, not last year. You remember early this year? I told you. That he needs to hire a director of football personnel. Yep. I think that this is what he. Do you did. know who that director of football personnel should be? The president 
of the Carolina Panthers and get that <laughs> chick and get that female that you know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not ragging on women. I'm not saying a woman can't do the job, but our president, that female of the president of our team, you know what I'm saying? First of all, most people don't even know her by name. You feel me? That's a that's a, that's a shame. Other thing is, she's Nicole Tepper's home girl. Oh, <laughs> All they do is hang out with each other and chill and, 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 and buy groceries or whatever they do, man. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> well, my thing is, that woman ain't did nothing for the Panthers, bro. Nothing. Hey, nothing. See, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. You got it. You got it. You got it. All twisted. she does is agree with David Tepper, bro. You got it twisted, that's man. That's why he put it there. <laughs> you got it twisted. I'm not talking about – she's the president of, like – Money wise and all that type of stuff like that. She no, ain't she's the, the president. president of the team. Period. She not the but there's there. You forgot. Dan Morgan is the well, GM slash president of agree, football Nick, you operations. Don't, you don't hear me. I agree with you though. The dude that you are suggesting, I'm saying he should be the president as well. <laughs> we need I mean, people in there that know mean, what they're doing. I mean, Nick. I'm gonna just let you know. I like. I don't. I don't. I'm like. I think. This. I think her. I don't is. like to have people in positions. That are running both sides of the, the field. I think right. business is business, which David Tepper is obviously good at, and that's where his ass needs to stay at. And yeah. he needs to let Dan Morgan cook right now. Just let him cook. So, so Just let I him think, cook. I, I think if he, if he can do that. He he can take his take his uh head out of his ass and let Dan Morgan do what Dan Morgan is doing right now. I I believe that the next. I think he's gonna do it, man. I think, look, bro. I just listen. I'm, like, oh, I'm praying. I'm praying. I'm like, look, I'm a, I, that I is one. That is anything. one thing that I want. I hope that they show show the draft room, the draft room, on a consistent basis. If this so month, me to it. You beat if me this to month it. is sitting down and ain't and just looking around, looking like an owner. But see, then, I'm gonna tell you like this. But Nick, listen to this though. Me and Pop don't even want him to be there. I, well, you, know, chill, you, know, you, know, you know that ain't happening, man. The owners is yeah. always. Yeah, yeah. Up, I, I don't feel like that. Owners don't show up to, to, to drive. If he up, don't show up, then even the better. We see him in that room. We gonna be nervous. But I want to. I want to chime in about that. About that lady. Her. I think her job is not is not on the players' uh, uh, perspective. I think her job is is to get business in the stadium. That's where she's the president of organ, organizing organizing, for instance, fan fest. Of uh, getting, you know, things like that in the building, um, things of that nature, like hosting events. Can't do that. I, I, I'm just telling you that what, that's what I think her job is, is on. Yeah, I don't that, think it has I, anything to do with the football field. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it don't have nothing to do with the players, uh, coaching, none of that. You know what I'm saying? She don't. She don't have her hands in that at all. It, this is for private events. This is, you know, uh, when they do stuff for the kids. She's the person that organ, organizes that type of thing. Well, I mean, if you guys are not familiar who I'm talking about, her name is Christy Coleman. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to look her up. I don't know what she does. I mean, um, she was hired by David Tepper. Uh, <clears throat> while Nick Kelly was uh, has been the uh, the appointed chief executive officer, but uh, uh, of Tepper uh, Tepper Sports and Entertainment. You know, I hate even saying that. It makes me want to throw up when I say that. <laughs> You know, um, as a part of the leadership shakeup, <laughs> I mean, Pop is, you know, I look, man, I hate saying Tepper Sports and Entertainment, bro. Because it just sounds more like I'm just trying to make some money and sell tickets and not win. I mean, that's, I mean, listen. That's who he is, bro. I mean, I'm hoping, this is what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that he learned that I don't want to take no more L's. I don't want to be the person that they talk about in the media that, that looks like a dumbass. And I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that if he's not in the room, then we already know what the, what it is from now, from this point on, if he's not in the room. Obviously, if he's in the room, we're going to be nervous. But at the end of the day, if he's in that room and he's sitting his ass down, talking on the phone, minding his own business and all that kind of stuff, letting Dan do what he do, do, do this thing, then we good. My thing is, what can he say? I mean, yes, we know how he 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 dabbled last year. We we all know that he's the guy who who uh, <laughs> taking all the blame. But this year, what's he going to give his opinion on or advice on? when well, he knows nothing about scouting. Nothing. He was he, he was just he was just infatuated with one player, and that was Bryce Young. 
We got him. Fine. Was, cool. I don't think but, hey, I don't I don't, know I don't think he knows anything about no old linemen or corners or linebackers. He ain't he he just Bro, wanted to get the guy he thought that could lead the, the, the Panthers. I'm telling you, listen, if if CJ Stroud was to somehow and with the team he got now, it, if he was somehow able to pull a Super Bowl off this year or next year, probably within the first four years. Yeah, we're gonna be looking at what they were going on. That's one of the worst picks ever in, in in sports because your owner stepped up and didn't trust his people. And this is why owners should not pick people, man. Yeah, you, you're a hedge fund guy, you don't know quarterback talent. Leave you don't it alone, money. Leave it to the people that you hired, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't I don't get, man. As his personal toy, and then he wanted to go out there and get the accessories without listening to people, man, with it. He wanted the Barbie, and Bryce Young was one of the dresses. And you got the and, wrong dress, bro. And people don't realize is this. You can take a full freaking look at damn at uh, Jerry Jones and look how long it has taken him to put together a good team. But he still can't get it over the top. The thing is, though, man, unlike most owners <laughs> – Jerry Jones goes Actually out and gets a lot of talent, bro. <laughs> yeah. You know, he just can't get the right coach. <laughs> right, right. That, that, that's he true. Just, that, and that goes back to a karma situation, too. Should have never got rid of Jimmy Johnson, bro. Mm-hmm. So, so, so this is my thing, Twan. I um I dropped a video, video not too, like oh, a week ago. Saying, Tell them where they can find it, Pop. <laughs> you can find it on Black Cat Panther Podcast. I've been really busy, so I haven't been able to drop some content. I've been... I really want to, but I'm, I'm gonna try to put some out pretty soon. But it's been a, had a lot going on. But anyway, no excuses and all that. But yeah, the the, the uh, video, basically the concept of the video is like really, if they go out here and get him the weapon and got the old line looking great, you can't make no more excuses for Bryce. You can make a few, but it, it would never be to the amount that which we had this previous year. Oh no, 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 you, no, no. you're not gonna have. You, you're not going to be able to – Bryce ain't going to be able to to hold a candle to shit if he does not – If he don't perform this year. Because this is the thing. Even though I he have a harder he schedule – He ain't even got to perform at freaking uh, – let me, let me think about – He ain't got to perform at CJ's level. No. He, just, he need to perform like Baker Mayfield performed this year. That's exactly. I told everybody in the video. I said, "I don't. That's I don't good, need. That's a good analogy. I don't need Bryce to be a Cam Newton. I need Bryce to be Bryce. <laughs> I need. I need him to. No, but you know, like, but, but you know, I, I just want to make it clear. I need. I need Bryce to. I need Bryce to carve out his own legacy the way Bryce can do it. And if they give you everything you need, then you, I, even though we're gonna go against better competition, it's gonna be a harder year. But, all right, all right, but all show right. me something. But show me something. Cool. Yeah, but if man, you look, don't, then it's going to be a problem. Well, listen, Pop, listen. I go, I'm going into this year with no worries. No expectations. N- look, I'm not even worried. You know why? Me neither. Because if Bryce don't perform, his ass up out of here. building the team, bro, for the next quarterback. It's He's on still- him if he want to stick exactly. around. <laughs> bro, my, whole, my whole slogan has been, I'm in the offseason. I've been saying that. I said that after like game three. Just like just like Twan saying though, man, people the only been people, people out there is the bright sexuals. They they don't people, even want panting. <laughs> people are unrealistic, man. This team was historically bad last year. Yeah, bro. Not just Bryce was bad. That offensive line was probably one of the worst offensive lines we've ever put out on the field. Well, let's even talk about in, that, Nick. Even in even in Cam's days, man, we had some bad offensive lines while Cam was there. But that one was bad. I have that never seen this line, bro. I've yeah. never seen the ball snapped and straight up the gut. There's two dudes in the backfield. Yep, yep. You're I mean, right. Bryce take two steps backwards. There's two dudes coming straight up the gut. I have never seen that. I ain't never like. We've never been so weak they on the scouted interior. for him, though, man. Look, that's what a great – that's what great coaches and, and scout. When you sit down and watch film, and, you know, for anybody that ever played football that's film watchers, you watch film, man. You watch film for two I, Oh, you talking about, you're talking about how to cause some real issues. 
Yeah, you, you, watch, you watch film for two reasons. You watch film to see how you can get better, and you watch film to uh, to look and, and see if you can discover um, the weaknesses of things your, that teams are not doing well when you have to play them, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like play, like how you can get them, or like or, uh, or what the other teams do to them that was successful, and how can we do that? And what do they lack at? People looked at Bryce Young's footwork. They looked at our offense. They know he couldn't throw really far up the field, and they game plan for that. It was easy. It was easy. I don't even understand how Green Bay didn't figure that out. <laughs> right. You're right. I mean, like I said, this year, I'm not worried. Just like uh, I'm not stressing like, you know, how everybody no, was stressing last no year. There's it, it, no point in it. There's <laughs> no point in it. I, I want to see improvement. And so far, what I've seen in the offseason, whether people agree with the moves or not, I, I like what they're doing. Um, I, I can see some direction. Um, and hopefully they just keep building and building on because some of these guys are just placeholders and some guys are, are going to be there for, for a little while. But I think we definitely going to have a better O-line than what we had last year because last year was so horrendous that you can't get no worse than that. Bro, hey, and then, of, um, I know a lot of people. Draft, a lot of people are. Draft, I'm gonna be pissed off too. A lot of people are uh, saying that hey, we gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna, gonna draft a center. We're gonna draft a center, but I don't think the center that we draft this year is gonna start this year. Uh, yeah. I, I I I think he should. Well, you see gotta that? put old boy out there first. Old, old boy is gonna get out there first. <laughs> see, so this is my thing. See, that's the problem. That that's what we. Ain't I have a problem. Yet. I have a the problem with that. People, but he played. He's played center before. He he's, he, but yeah. he's never. He's never played center in the NFL. You're right. He's never played center in the NFL. So that's a problem. So think along how long Corbin's been in the league, and how long he since he's been in college. Actually, I think they said. I actually said he think he took a, took a couple snaps in 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 at center for some some team when their center got hurt. Man, you don't want to put no rookie he's center not, there right now. So, bro. so but the, 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 that's the thing about it is because we're not going to we're not going to draft one of the center, top centers. Center, so center should be our, our very first pick. I'm sorry, center should be the 33rd pick. Now you go ahead, not. go ahead and solidify. If, <laughs> no, nah, buddy, this is my this is my thing. This is my <laughs> receiver thing. is going to be the 33rd pick. Wow. <laughs> it, it might be, but from my opinion. Go ahead and solidify that exactly. line. If you're talking about, okay, if Bryce don't do good, then at least you have an O-line that's right there ready for the next guy to come in. We won't well, have to think about it is, is there's some good there's some good center talent that's gonna be that gonna be down for the dude from I don't, um, the I don't dude from uh um, what's his name? The Razor, what you call it, is gonna be out there. I'll go, I mean, in, unless uh, uh, eight chop Robinson's there. Then okay, I I I I'll grab him first. But Yo, if, I don't if, see what y'all love, man. But if like, that I'm center, if you know, that center from Michigan there, if J, if, if Powers is there, if he somehow slipped, which I doubt. But if he somehow slipped, because I've I've seen him dropping down boards, I want the best center I can get because what I cannot do is gamble on a guy who's had two who busted his knee up twice on the same leg to come and change positions. To be a center that he has not played but in the Pop, NFL, I don't, don't want to get him first. You don't I have to want, get it first. I, I want the best center you I can get. get right? later that, around, that, that'll bro. solidify my line because so, if my line ain't, if my line ain't solidified, then guess what? You're gonna have some of the same problems that Nick just said. Two guys coming up the middle, bam! With this guy with his busted ass knee. But the, the thing about it is, is that hey, look, we took when, any, first, anytime Austin Corbett was out there, right that now. didn't happen. He never Listen, played center. He played guard. I'm, I mean, but the thing about it is, is that the the the, the theory of putting him there, which caused that because they're saying that that maybe if he's not on one of the sides, he because one you can't. It ain't like you can just blow the center up. We pick a center first, man. I'm, I mean, I ain't, I ain't looking at the rest of the draft, man. We, I'm not. I'm, I might slam Yo, my laptop Twan, on the floor. Twan, you can't, Twan, Twan, you can't be like that because <laughs> you play you played in the trenches, so that should be one of your favorite. You know what I'm saying? Areas is build the trenches. Now I played on defense though, man. That's we still the, the that's still the trenches. It's still the trenches, bro. I know, but we the center oh, first, bro. I'm gonna be mad, bro. Twan, Twan, you can't be like that, bro. You can't be like that, bro. I'm call Bobby <laughs> Lewis and cuss him out because they listen to him, bro. <laughs> well, I, I I'll be happy as hell because at least I know my line is solidified, and, and, and the, the less excuses I'm gonna have to have or hear 
from anybody saying, well, the old line this and old line that. I ain't gonna all, worry about all that. All I'm saying is, we took Icky early and he ain't even solidified. But he had a he hold on, he had to learn a whole new playbook, a whole new scheme. That became that that happened because we went we it went got away because of him. He he just wasn't good enough, bro. But that's okay though. He had a sophomore slump. That's that happens. That happens. That's excusable. I don't believe in sophomore slumps. You see it every really year. Know. If you bro, you see it, I'll be surprised. I really would be surprised. Any rookie who played last year had a great year, top that year this year. I'll be surprised. Because now they got tape on you. They know they know they know what you're gonna do. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so look, man, look, look, of the 11 who started last year's opener against the Falcons, uh, and this is the defense, talking about the defense, and um, uh, I've been reading a lot of articles that said uh, Evero, um, Israel Evero is, is real happy with this group. He said even more than the group last year. And the last year's group was decent, man, but, you know, um, of the 11 who started last year against the Falcons, only Brown, Shai Tuttle, Shaq Thompson, uh, J.C. Horn and Xavier Woods remain on the roster. You know, everybody else is gone, went to another team or whatever. Wish them the best of luck. Uh, most of those guys we wanted to see leave, you know. But um, of the, and this talking on the defense, defense side of the ball, it says whether it was defensive tackle A'shaun Robinson at safety and Jordan Fuller uh, who were with him in Los <laughs> Angeles or linebacker Josie Jewell. <laughs> the next pop, the next uh, Luke Kicker, uh, who had his best season Ooh, under Evero in Denver. Right, right. Uh, there's a benefit of everyone speaking the same language. So what I love about what Evero is saying with this new team, man, is that he said a lot of these defensive guys that he's worked with before or whatever, like they're going to all understand the language of what's going on on that defense, man. And yep. and he's like, I, he's excited about what they am. So them adding something else to it from the draft is only going to make them even – Happier, man. I mean, I, I've been an advocate of saying I think we should build strongly on the offensive side of the ball and then hit that defense the next year. But I think Everett should get at least one pick uh, yeah. with this draft coming up. You know what I'm saying? He needs so, another linebacker. Or, yeah, or they said they were aggressive in the free agency uh, signing with DJ Wanham. Uh, he had eight sacks last year. We got Jadavian Clowney. You know what I'm saying? He had 9.5 last year. Uh, that sound like uh, that sound like close to twenty sacks to me together. You know what I'm saying? Um, as the former number one overall pick, who lends uh, some credence to uh, remain position the position group. And one of the other things I love about Jadavian Clowney too, man, is somewhat he's coming back home, bro. And a guys, yeah. a lot of guys play with a lot of pride when they feel like they're not only represent, representing a team that's near their hometown, but it's just the fact they feel like they're representing their hometown as well. Not just me. I'm so town. excited that's, that's about right JB. Yeah, he said, I'm so excited about J.D. as as, as he goes by, Evero said, uh, as opposed to all the DJs. And we got a ton of DJs on this team, bro. A lot of DJs. DJ Wanham, DJ Johnson, Dane Jackson is a DJ, or whatever he said, on defensive alone. Obviously, we all know his track record, but the play style is what I'm really excited about. The guy just plays hard. He's physical. He's tough. He plays the way we want him to play. And, and, <laughs> let me throw a cherry on top on that too, in case y'all didn't know out there in Panther Land. The beautiful thing about this with Evero is that 100% of his staff came back. 100% of his all staff. All the so staff members. All the back. staff members came back, stayed, came back. And that says a lot about him, his yep. character, what he believes in, how he treats his, his staff members. That says a lot. So that means. Anybody who's either uh, who's returning that's played with him or that we kept is gonna have that you know what I'm saying that 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 uh, brotherhood of which they can play under. So yeah, I think they definitely need to get him one or two more talent. Um, if they trade back, you know that's even better. Um, but hey, you know, look, I, I think we got the right guy for the job, and you know, what I'm, saying? I'm proud of everyone, man. Good yeah, coach. Man. I mean, it also tells me that if, if you know, if somebody call him for the head coaching job, he taking that staff with him. <laughs> that that that's scary too. But I don't think that's, I don't think yeah. I think he's gonna do his whole contract here. Yeah, I think he's gonna do. I hope he, he does. Because he said his family, his family. He, he started off by saying how 
proud he is to have such a unique job. Like I think some people take it lightly that you're a defensive coordinator. He's like he wears that as a badge on his chest. So like that being said, you know, oh, you can just get a job, there. bro. There's not that many jobs. Like NFL is a prestige place to play for. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, that being said, I mean, I like it. You know what I mean? So I think he said his family finally they got comfortable. Mm-hmm. You know, he likes it here. I think I think he will be extended. I don't. I I hope he don't go nowhere because, you know, hey, as long as we can keep that that unity in in the building, I'm cool. And just keep adding mm-hmm. on to it. Uh, Flame for Jesus said JPJ at center is a risk for me. And um, Claire said at Flame, she said, uh, that's true too. What? Mm-hmm. Hold on. Jackson, what? The best center is a risk? Man, I ain't never heard that before. The I mean, best but center. You think you think he's out the, the whole draft. <laughs> don't, it ain't me. I don't think they're talking about his talent. I just think they're talking about taking the center first, bro. So, which I, which people, which I gotta understand. The so center, the, be, the center, the center is the olive branch. The center is the olive branch to the quarterback. He's sitting here telling the quarterback Facts. everything that he needs to know. Now Facts. we gotta understand since people elevated Bryce to be so smart, then he wouldn't have been lining up underneath a, a, a guard last year. But if he had the right center to tell him, hey. And call out defenses and this, that, and other. That's what what you need. You need somebody who can, who's, who's very smart, who knows what's going on, who knows everybody' role, because he's an extension of the quarterback. You need somebody to take that off of Bryce. You okay, need somebody so like that. Flame for Jesus is striking back, and he's got some great points. He said JPJ only played seventeen games at, at Oregon. He said he got hurt in the second practice of the Senior Bowl, then only completed three events in the combine. He was hurt again, I believe. Uh, that's that's yeah. I'm looking at him sideways a little bit. Man. Okay, cool. If you don't want JPJ, I still take. I will still take the other center from Michigan. Okay. Yeah, I think JPJ might be a uh, injury risk. But we can't not say that that's not a whole. No, so I'm gonna be honest have. with you though. I'm only I'm I'm listening to y'all because I don't know a whole lot about him. So I, you know, I don't know every single player because I don't do my homework on every single play uh, player. I know of him and what he did at Oregon, but I didn't know about the Senior Bowl and these injuries. So all right, all right. well, well, Twan, what about Graham Barton from Duke? I mean, you don't got to yeah. get him at thirty three, but I mean, hey. but I ain't taking him at thirty three though. <laughs> you know, he's a beast, that, man. That's probably one of that's my favorite center in the draft. <laughs> you you gotta get a center out this draft, like period. You cannot go in there with a the guy who had two blown knee, well, a, a blown out knee twice, and expect him to come in here and reassure you he's not. And he's never done it in the NFL as far as the center. I, I think that's a may cornerback. We lacking in center. We, we lacking in. I think we got six wide receivers in the building right now. Some of them so, guys ain't gonna make the cut. So if you're looking at depth linebacker. Yeah. Well, like as far as middle linebacker and stuff like that, we don't have a, we don't have a lot of depth there. So I don't know. Yeah. Shout out to D Cash. He said Corbett said he likes making calls on the offensive line, which comes with playing center, and it does. In fact, it does. Like, uh, like Pop and Butler told you earlier, man. And again, you know, uh, we all like to teach y'all some stuff out there. If you don't know football like that, like that. The center is an extension of the quarterback, man. The center, when the, when they break that huddle, the center is looking at that defense just like the quarterback is. If he notices something that the quarterback doesn't notice, he's telling them. Uh, I mean, he's really essentially in some ways like the captain of that offensive line, you know what I'm saying? They talk to him. He discusses – he turns around and discusses back with that quarterback. I mean, he don't have to turn around, you know what I'm saying, if you want to be technical about it. But his job is – his job is to be able to read defenses too, man. A lot of people don't know that about centers. You know, a good center like Jeff Saturday, when he like you can, he reads defenses as well, bro. You know what I'm saying? Tell you, and you, you y'all ever seen that um that that one little snippet of um of Peyton going up to his old lineman and was and was arguing with him. And they told him, "Hey, man, you, you don't be trying to tell us how to block." You don't tell us how to yeah, do our job. Exactly. Jeff, Jeff Saturday was sitting there arguing with him too. Cause he knows that's the captain of the O line. Yep. That's the captain. You gotta have a great center, bro. He said, just stop. He said the very in, in that very um that clip, 
Uh, if you didn't hear it or not, Peyton Manning was like, "Stop changing the plays." <laughs> you know, <laughs> right? They, hey, look, man. He was like, "Look, bro, you don't see what I see, bro." <laughs> right? You don't see what I'm seeing. I'm trying to tell you that's why we changing the plays. Yeah, yeah. yeah Van Pran, Van Pran's another good center. I mean, there, there's some guys, but we we need to get one of the top tier centers, man. I'm I'm tired of going in the fourth round and getting these guys. Look yeah. at your K Majors, you know. Look at your guy from NC State. We got they're not ready. Those are backup players. We need a starter. Shout out to Holy Laughter. He said TD tore the same ACL three times. Um, eh, well, yeah, that's an we anomaly, don't, bro. That's we don't anomaly. look. We don't look for that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's not, right. We don't so we're gonna, so, so we're gonna keep. We're gonna keep getting hurt players. Yeah, he'll right. yeah, fight through it. Yeah, he'll it, make it. Yeah, he'll be all right. <laughs> I uh, JP said Barton really isn't a center, even yeah, you, though he played there before. You right, King JP, but you know they're they're saying that they're probably gonna slot him into a center in the NFL because of his measurements. So you know that's cool. You know what I mean? It's a lot a lot of guys that play guard in college come and play center. And there go Claire saying, uh, "Grand, what else?" She said, "TD is an anomaly." <laughs> don't she said, equate. "Don't equate every linebacker who has." Back-to-back ACL injuries to TD situations. Everyone don't bounce back from injuries the same way, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes with some of these injuries, it's willpower, bro. I do know that if uh, Bryce – this ain't Bryce last year either. Uh, he ain't the only one, but let me say it different. He's not the only one. Uh, if, if J.C. Horn – if Horn don't get together this year, this is last one too, bro. This is last one too. Y'all, y'all already know the nickname I gave him, Jesse Torn. Until he told me, until he told me it's different. It is what it is. Too many injuries so. without getting hit. Spino. <laughs> <laughs> broke my back. He broke my back. <laughs> Spino. Spino. <laughs> well, who hit you? Nobody. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh man, that's crazy. Oh man. Uh White Chocolate Espresso in the building with the Ric Flair. He said y'all ready for XL at 33. Hey man. I'm not gonna be mad, bro. Either him or Keon Coleman. And look, man, I don't you don't really have to get either one of them at 33. I think one of them will be available at 39. So that's why I'm always like, I'm going for something else at 33, man. The, the only complicated situation. One of them is, dudes will be available at 39. <laughs> uh, the only complication, only complication with that, Twan, and especially when you do a mock draft, if, if a premier edge rusher is there, and Keon Coleman, and a center, man, you can be like, dang, who do I pick? But you really got to think about what this like team the really needs. <laughs> it's a good problem to have. It's a good problem to have. That's why you can go several different ways with it. BPA. Yep. That's what your uh, GM said. Hey, I, I I hope you don't believe that though. Because mm. I want to go best player available that fits our system and what we're trying to do, not just the best player available, man. Does so, he fit? So, let me ask you this then: How are you feeling about Canales? Right now, I mean, I know you've seen the little video clips of him saying with the other guys. Do, man, I don't know anything about him. I mean, what he did at Tampa Bay, fine, but he's yet to do it for us. Uh, the only people, only person I'm really giving um, uh, dap to right now is right. Dan Morgan. <laughs> That's yeah, it. and 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 uh, Tillis too. You gotta give Tillis. Yeah, I give Tillis well. some credit. Yeah, Tillis is in the mix. Yeah, he he wrote some good contracts. Yeah, and save money and save money. So, you know, hey, it is what it is. We can't keep everything, you know. So we had to say our goodbyes. But so, uh, DK said, Twan, what's your thoughts on double dipping at wide receiver, bro? Every mock draft I've done, I've taken two wide receivers right off the gate. <laughs> Every last one of them. It's going to be different today, <laughs> but. Everyone I personally done, I bought that. You know, because my thing is, when y'all say Bryce need weapons, I'm really not thinking about Bryce Young first. I'm thinking about the team. Because <laughs> if Bryce don't work out, he just don't work out. I like me. I'm not going to lose no sleep, bro. 
I, I can't lose in a situation because whatever ref, quarterback we bring in from there is going to be have a loaded team, bro. And that's going to make free agency like people like, oh, man, I want to go to Carolina, bro. You know what I'm saying? We might not even have to go in the draft to get a quarterback. We're gonna have a we're gonna we're gonna have some nice money to work with with the, with this black mm-hmm. money coming off of our um off our books. So it can play out a lot of different ways, man. But you know, I mean, if I was a GM, I probably would piss a lot of people off because I would get uh I'll get uh, Xavier Legend Leggett and Keon Coleman one thirty nine and thirty three, whatever comes first. So I just got our. Uh, Cause we ain't gonna win next year. I ain't trying to win. I ain't trying to build no Super Bowl team in one draft. <laughs> so, so Twan, I just got an alert from the Discord saying that uh, Mingo really is on a trade block. I don't I know how true that is, but you know that. But I'm. But the thing that's pissing me off about that is that he, <clears throat> he's only been here one year. Number two, you you went up to go get him, so you wasted a draft pick. It makes perfect sense, though, because the thing is, but you're not gonna get. I'm gonna put a team like this, Pop, and, and, and follow me on this. Chat, chat. Let me know if y'all feeling the same way I feel. If this is a real story and the Panthers are really considering moving or trading um, Mingo, it tells you that they're going after a wide receiver, man. They want to go get a better one. <laughs> but just my Batwan, look at the bigger picture. What do you think you're gonna get for him? You're not gonna get nothing for him. So who was the who was the person? Nah, somebody will reach a bad team will reach. You got to when you do these type of trades, you got to go at a bad team. But then the, the, then I do agree with you, Tupac, because who are we to be making any demands? You know there you saying? go. There, there you go. <laughs> and look, we got. I, I'm DeAndre. looking at both sides of the fence with that. So hopefully it'll work out in our favor. We just got to go at a, at a, a worse team, and we would. There's no worse team than, than us last year, but somebody who just believes in that guy. I mean, my my first play, per, play or team I'm going towards is probably Buffalo. You know, let me let me get that. I think they got the 80th pick. So we're I, I mean, Bro. but that's that's a stretch. That's a hell of a reach. Hey, let me ask the chat, man. Who would y'all? Hey, hey, what do y'all want for Mingo? What would y'all want for him? What's I a mean, what's a fair situation? And y'all gotta understand too. You gotta understand. We got Deontay. I take a third, bro. I take a we third got, right now. But we got Deontay for a six-round pick. And he was their number one if with the Steelers. This is not a number one wide receiver quite yet. He, 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 he's not a finished product. I, I just don't think you're going to get anything from him. Mingo might, was he, not that guy in college. I mean, I sincerely hope the Panthers did not pick this guy because Steve Smith told them to do that. <laughs> well, we kind of did. <laughs> I want to believe it's some type of satire with that, but then knowing who we were, we were stupid enough to actually listen to him. Yeah, yeah. Well, he, he, that's what he did. He, they called him. He said, well, if it was me, uh, I would pick Mingo. i take a third round for Mingo right now. I, and if I'll take him immediately. Fourth, I'll take that too. <laughs> I, I show, I'll take the fourth too. Third, fourth, I'm taking it. But that's the only round. Fifth round, mm-hmm. we, 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 we plan ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, we we really we took something bad for something you know worse for something bad. But look, listen, watch this, Twan. Yeah. We we talking about this about Mingo, right? But I was low key seen Terrence Marshall Jr. shaking hands with Canales when Canales said, "Hey, y'all tried to trade him and didn't get nothing. Ain't nobody want Terrence Marshall J." Yeah. So if you didn't get enough for Terrence Marshall Jr., what do you think you about to get for this guy? Well, see, T- TMJ, I don't think he's gonna make the cut. And if he does, bro, he's gonna have to go wild in the in the um in practice, man, and, and doing training camp and all that. He, you know, it, look, I don't know if TMJ was at the voluntary workouts. But yeah, he's there. TMJ, he's there. Okay, he's there. But, but if I'm TMJ, I'm showing up to everything. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. They they told him, hey, you you, you can look for you can look for a buyer. And he came back with nothing. So you trying to trade Mingo? I'm, hey, look. However they finesse it, get it. Whatever they do, they did they get a third or fourth with, with with this? Oh my God, that'd be crazy. Claire, Claire said Mingo won't bring her a third or a fourth. I disagree with her because they don't got to be next year. You could take a third or a fourth in two thousand twenty six. 
We need them picks this year. Only, yeah, I know we need them this year, but look, bro, we're going to have a, a bunch of picks a year after this too, bro. And in a legit first round, look, I'll take look, I'll take a future third round pick for him. I don't, hold on, hold on. We got a, we got a first next year, no second. I don't think we got a lot of picks next next year, bro. We got a decent amount of picks, bro. Listen, if we if we work this draft right, this one, the one that's loaded, I hate to, I can't really honestly say you are gonna miss a second round pick. Like we won't miss it, cause that's probably not that's just not true, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but who did we take second this past year? Uh, last year we took. Uh, hold on, we got Bryce Young. Then we went and got. Was it Mingo? Mingo, <laughs> Mingo. Yeah, we, it was Mingo. We got Mingo. Yeah. Then we give up. Did we give up our second last year? We got. Oh no. I know Mingo was next. That's yeah, all I'm Mingo. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm telling you, like that's what I'm saying. Like I'm just saying that to say some second rounds don't work out. It's a lot of first rounds that don't work out. Right? Man, it's gambling, man. Look, it's you just gotta hope for the best when you go into this the the, the draft, man. And and it, it don't have to be all guessing because that's what you hire those people for. People that do real analysis, that look for real things, and that's why. Uh, uh, over at, uh, uh, over here, seven hundred four Charlotte Brown Show, and also at Black Cat Panther Podcast and some and other podcasts, it's important that you have uh, great scouts, man. Mm-hmm. It ain't just finding the dominant and the rough. It's just the guy who can tell you this guy right here. You are not look. You're not gonna mess, go wrong going with this guy right here at a second or a third round pick. He's gonna live up to that. Yeah, I'm just I'm just worried that you don't get nothing for him because it's like me trying to sell you a car. If I'm selling you a car, and everywhere else on the blue book, blue book value has this certain type of number for it, but your 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 number is just like significantly low, you're gonna ask yourself why are you selling it for so cheap? Why you don't want it? And I think that's exactly what they're gonna look at Mingo with. Like, why the hell you want to give them up for just you know, unless they just find a way to finesse them? Because other than that, I mean, I don't, I don't think you're gonna get much for them. If we can't do nothing with him, I mean, <laughs> teams are going to know that. They're going to be like, look, y'all y'all ain't trying to move him for no reason. We may not get much for him, but listen, I'm saying, <laughs> it, go on I think the way you get a team to play ball, <laughs> I think the way you get a team to play ball is say, look, I'll take a future third or fourth round pick. Do you think this sets a president ain't gonna be in, in this the, draft? In, in the <laughs> locker room, though? Huh? Does it, do, you think, do you think this sets a president in the locker room telling the other guys, hey, if you don't pan out, we'll get rid of you like that? Like, well, listen to this, though, bro. Listen to this. I, I, I don't mind because Dan Morgan said, I didn't pick none of them. Yeah, that's a fact. I'm right, boys. <laughs> that, that, I didn't yeah. even pick the quarterback. <laughs> it's right. all Reich's people, bro. This is Scott Fitterer's guys, bro. Damn, that's, that's true. You that cannot ain't... feel bad about getting rid of something you ain't pick up. Damn. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. what it really boils down to. Like, like, look, if a dude was like, Pop, I didn't hire you. Right. <laughs> I mean, your uh, homeboy hired you, not me. Right. You know, so, like, look, I don't want to let you go, because, but I, I think you'd be, you know, but look, I'm going to go with somebody else, man. I mean, what you can't say nothing about it. You just got to go get your stuff at the lock and pack up and go, bro. Yeah, I'll be targeting Buffalo if I could. They got a good relationship with Seattle. Yeah, you got to talk to these teams you've been doing business with. Yeah. Um, hell, Buffalo, Raiders. the Raiders. That's a good team to talk to. Uh, Tampa Bay. Mm. That's the only team that's within the division that's going to play with you. I, yeah, um, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't messing with them. We've done some things with Detroit. De- Detroit will be interesting. Oh, uh, they, they they got a lot of picks, I think. Uh Washington. I'll be trying yeah. to highlight Washington. Like, yo, I need some some somewhere between that sixty five and that one hundred that one on one. We need to get the somewhere between that it. That's a lot sell, of picks. The thing we gotta sell a team on is this. We took this guy in the second round. So when teams is like, Well, why are y'all trying to get rid of him then? Because we want a different style of receiver. You know, they're going to have to sell that, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. And like I said, we don't got to get it this year. I don't think we're going to get it. Not this year. It's got to be a future. 
It might be for a player. It might be a player swap and a, and a, and yeah, a, and or a, a swap. I'll take a swap right now, bro. It might be a player swap and a pick. And, and this now you can't. You also can say at least he wasn't hurt. He's not a hurt player. He's young. You know, so that's also a selling point as well. Well, you know, poor little Mingo. Claire said to me, drafting Leggett and Coleman for Bryce is a waste of their talent. They Damn. are not drafting them guys for him. I keep telling you all this. Those I guys do. are going to be additions to the team. If Bryce don't – look, it's like this. If Bryce works out, fine. We all win. If he don't, fine, because he ain't coming back. He's going to be selling the same – even if he does come back, he going to be sitting on the sideline holding the clipboard. Because you got to think, Claire, it's the same It's the same point that Twan just said. Canales ain't picked Bryce. No. So why would he put his – why would he extend – why would he put his career on a line for Bryce? You know what I'm saying? Now Tepper has all the excuses to fall guy to say, hey, we, we brought in the right coach for him. We got him all the weapons. They say they couldn't work with him. Then bam, he's I gone. Bet That's move him. I yeah, bet you but, can move him. I bet you can move him, though. I but, bet you could. I bet your team will <laughs> definitely reach for him. <laughs> for Bryce? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think it won't Bryce be no is. problem to move. I bet you can get your second round back. <laughs> oh, oh, I think you'll be able to move, but I don't think you know second round for him. I don't think that. Nah. nah. It's a team out there that's going to reach for him. Well, let, let's hope they these, do it. I'm going to tell you why. Because all, <laughs> let, these let's do it. <laughs> all these commentators out here keep right on saying, he's going to have a breakout year and blah, 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 whatever. And look, and if he does, good for us. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think he will. But if he does, great. Right, we don't lose, Pop. We can't lose. And if we get rid of him, I mean, well, that's what we always want. Hey, Aries, I, I, I agree. That's why when I talk about Worthy, I don't think about Bryce in the sense of, oh, he can throw it down the field. I'm looking at the future. If Bryce don't work out, I got a speedy yeah. guy. Who's a, who's a who's a weapon? If we get a quarterback next year, who has at least a, a big enough arm to throw the deep ball? Hey, you got you got a, a downhill speedster because we haven't had one since Ted again, and DJ Chark don't count. I'm sorry, and I mean, hey, that's just how I look at it. He he's just a different dynamic of a player than what we already have because you already got two route runners, you got one big possession uh guy like Mingo, and now you need your burner. Yep. Hey, Pop. Yes, sir. Let's do a mock draft, baby. <laughs> All right. Let's do a mock draft. We already set up uh, um, seven rounds. I got it at the normal speed. Uh, let's see what me and Pop can put together, man. Me and, I've never done one with Pop, just me and him. Uh, we're gonna probably do two of these, you know what I'm saying? So, um, are we calling scenarios? What, yeah, me, yeah we... me and Pop about to go in the war room and see what we can do, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all right, man. let's put our heads together because we think a lot uh, alike on uh, some things and some things we're completely different on, so it should be interesting. But, uh, we could just go back and forth, or, or do you want to just like come to a conclusion or like see if we can sell each other on the pick or whatever? Yeah, yeah, we, we could do whatever. You know what I'm saying? We, right. we got to we gotta take an accountability with the team needs. We're yeah. going to take our, our unbiased, you know what I'm saying, favoritisms out. You know what I mean? We, you know, we're going to try to be as close to what we think what the team should do. We just agreed out to take a center first. <laughs> uh, let's, let's, just, let's just run it. Let's run it. Let's just, let's just let's run it, man. Let's run it. Hey, so look, we'll go ahead and enter the draft right here, man. And uh in the chat, make sure y'all y'all communicate, man, because Yeah, you yeah, know, talk to us. We'll, we'll take you take it into consideration. Y'all part of the seven oh four Charlotte Brown uh war room as well. Yeah, man. They got Drake May going to the Jets. Man, I don't know if I like this one. This is stupid. <laughs> that that it pissed me off because he didn't come to Carolina, period. But yeah, this is stupid. Yeah. <laughs> We also remember we do need a corner too. I don't really care about what happens in the first round because we ain't in it. But pop right away, uh Miami's nope. offering us pick fifty five. Well yeah. I, I knew I said no when I saw it. So. 
Uh, Ooh, for the third. Yeah, I'm not dealing with no futuristic picks right now. No. Okay. All right, so we're on the board. Oh my God! Look at everything that's there right now, bro. See, I told you this was gonna be the problem. This is going to be awesome. like a whole, like so many treats, bro. So many <laughs> treats. <laughs> you got Troy Franklin, Xavier Worthy, Graham Barton, Jatavion Sanders. I'm not jumping up there for Walker. Uh, which, which, let's, uh, let's see what's going on in the chat. What y'all want to do with the chat, man? What y'all want to do? Uh, DCAS said, if we continue throwing screens, just take Corley. <laughs> um. Yeah, because I mean, Corley, I, I need to see. I Is need to see his route. Oh, hold on, let me make it a little bigger so they can. I, I I like I like Malachi Cor- Corley, but I just need to see more of his route tree. Mm. Woo, man! What you what you what, yeah. and go to team needs. Let's see what it, let's see what it says. Team needs is well, wide receiver OC Ed. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know. I just was just telling anybody else who doesn't know anything about the Panthers yeah. that might be in the they chat. got anything up there that we ain't thinking about. <laughs> can you go to defense? Uh, can you see what Ed's The very first like? thing they say is wide receiver. But look, check this out, man. Uh, Where are Keon Goldman I'm willing to go with your pick first, man. Is he Is he, is he gone? Keon? No, he, he up here, man. He up here. Offense. Wide receivers, yeah. They got him at forty nine. Yeah, this is a stupid. <laughs> this is a stupid uh, draft. There's <laughs> no way. All right, uh, can we go to defense to see Edge? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just curious to see who's out there. Braylon Trice, Chris Braswell, Deesa Isaac, Marshawn Nealon. And I'm not touching none of them dudes. Yeah, not right now. All right, so it looked like it's either going to be tackle, I mean guard, I mean guard center, or wide receiver. We so can take your can... center first. We can take okay. your center first. Okay, yeah. We'll go okay. Grand Barton. There we go. Line solidified. Bam. So I'm a, I'm, I'm going to take this 39 pick. Let's see what they're offering us first, though. Nope. Nah. So I'm, you know, going right to see what receivers we got. How do they have Vontaze Walker over Keon Coleman? It's no way. That's why I said this is, man, this is uh, sports key to us. <laughs> oh, yeah. Then they, they be all over the place. Yeah. yeah, they be all over the place. But look, I mean, we, for the most part, we know how we want to pick anyway. Just you know. So look, I took one. I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you take this one, um, Pop. All right, go to go to all let's see what the chat saying. He's at 39. Look at Maul, man. That's the Carolina in him. Talking about Intez, I trust. Man, nobody taking Devontae that high. Not not that high, I'm not. No. They barely got the play this year. <laughs> If he's at thirty nine, this is a this is off big time. Yeah, flames of Jesus, I agree with you. Bro. Yeah, this is definitely off. We have to go to a different one. I think. Uh, this. <laughs> reject, reject that. Yeah. All right, go to all for me. Let me see what we got. All. Um. Damn. Bro, listen. I'm sorry, y'all. I, 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 man. I want trade Benson I, so bad. <laughs> I, 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 I see it, but man, it's between Trice or Benson Knight. Because I don't think Benson Knight going to be there. But Trice ain't going to be there either. Because we won't pick again to one on one. That's my pick. And I don't, I don't know if DJ Wano where his, where he's going to be at. So. I gotta go. I gotta go. Braylon Trice right here, man. Let's see who's noteworthy names is going. And this is where I want to get a pick from right here. Hey, from that's that's the, um, 
Trey Benson went to um, uh, Patriots. Patriots, ain't no way. He won't. Only, he won't be there for four years. He be leaving out of that. <laughs> Xavier Leggett was still up there. Ninety two. This is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is no way. There's hey no man, way. we gonna pick another one. <laughs> yeah, this this. Uh, I will. Mm, I will take this though. Yeah, I, I would. I take that. They didn't take anybody that we wanted either. So, no. Uh, we got a linebacker, Evan Cooper. We got DJ James at cornerback. You can you can wait on that though. Tight end, running back. This is a reminder to drink water. Drink water, Twan. Drink water. I just did. <laughs> yeah, man. Some of y'all ain't gonna like this, but I'm taking Rick. <laughs> oh hell no. <laughs> That's just in this dumb draft. <laughs> Case Stover? Ain't no way he's going 130. Ain't ain't no way. But you know what, man? You know what we say every year with the draft? We say, ain't no way such and such, and then it happens. (laughs) But we got 141 and 142 back to back. Yeah, reject that. I ain't dealing with them them ain'ts. Go to all for me. Oh my goodness. Uh, you mean stroll down some? Yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> they say anything you pick after that is stupid. <laughs> they got a punter up there. That's crazy. What's uh Marshawn Lewis? Um Yeah. Five nine, two six nine. Don't wanna. Uh, can we see linebacker? Um, go go to defense. Hey, look. Uh, let me um. Let me go to the, the um the chat real quick before we hit you up, pop. But uh, see what they saying. Uh, Sanders are worthy. Uh, Frank for Jesus says Sanders. Maul said and Tez. Yeah. He, Ma said, "If he's a you know, favorite, Jesus said this is off big time. I agree, but he said when that Trey Benson was available, he said Trey Benson here, bro, bro. Yeah, I like Trey Benson. That's too. weapons. <laughs> you know, I mean, look, <laughs> that's a high powered offense. <laughs> I need to see. Uh, I said, if you want to wait uh, until later, uh, Jared uh, Wiley and Tanner McL- um, McLachlan. Is it McLachlan?" McLaughlin are solid late round um, tight end um, picks. Okay. All right, you know, so I'm going to crush you with the tight end picks, you know, ever wow. since you told us to get lively. So I need to look at linebacker and corner. Maul said, Lord. Uh, like, uh, Flame said, I like that pick, Twan. And then Maul said, go to running back. All right. So let's, you say go to what now? Um, yeah, I'm going to check out running back too. Uh, either running back, corner, or linebacker. The only person I would take at this point is Audrick Estime. Yeah, that's a reach one right there, though, because we got the 180. Yeah, but at 178, pick. you can get him later. Yeah, you can get him with the 180 pick. Go to uh, linebacker. Just curious. I can see if it was out there. Uh, man, give me Jalen Ford. Um, uh, on you. Yeah. Let's see what's going on in these corners. Yeah, 
You got Jalen Simpson there. Mm, I see him. <clears throat> we got to get an edge, I believe. All right. Bell. You was reading my mind, bro. <laughs> 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 Let's Debo at tight end. <laughs> That's based on the, like, you can use them a lot of different ways. Mm-hmm. All right, go ahead and get my Audrey. Oh, that's Audrey asked me. Yep. Bruh. That's it. That dude is a hard <laughs> runner. <laughs> Bruh. You ain't taking your, him your, down on the first time. Your, your, your offense is solidified now. I ain't gonna lie. What what you do here? Your your offense is solidified all the way. All the way. <laughs> <laughs> you can go. Hey, you can go start talking to that about that defense for the next year, bro. But oh, Braylon Allen was there. Yo, they had him at two twenty eight. That's this is there's, no there's no way. There's no way. Yeah, nah. and then sometimes it's crazy because this will be what it is. <laughs> I'm trying to think what's the other mock simulator I use. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I ain't gonna, I don't even pay, I don't pay for PFF until we get close to the date. I think it's NFL Draft Buzz. That was kind of decent. I know some other good ones. I this was the first one I saw, that's the only reason why I chose it. Oh, we got another pick. Yeah, there is no way Brandon Brandon Allen is sitting there, bro. That is man. A lot of teams don't want to touch him. I don't know why. (laughs) He's young too, bro. Like he's young. I don't. I think he's twenty years old. I I would probably have taken him over Estimate. Well, uh, well, this this your pick, so I would have picked him over Estimate if I knew he was that low. <laughs> I know you didn't know. Nah, nah. <laughs> Man, 337. This is why you can't do a draft with Florida State. Right, son, you out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you already knew, bro. I just, this was the one we had some fun with, bro. Yeah. Rocky Lombardi. Never heard of him. All right, so look, this is what we got. Bro, let's, let's see what we got, man. We got, we got, we fixed the O line is solidified. We got the wide receiver, we got Keon Coleman wide receiver. We got an edge, so that's 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 Evero's pick right there. And we also gave him um, Jalen Ford too. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You got another wide receiver, dangerous wide receiver, and we got Jahan Bell um, at the tight end spot. He's better than any tight end on our team. You got a uh, you got a red zone um, uh, running back in Audrey Estime, and he ain't just red zone. I'm just saying that you'll feel better about him. You know, uh, that third and one is solidified. You third and one getting a ball, right. bro. He running over and, and the backup quarterback. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, that's a funny draft right there. I would I would lay on the bed. Happy, like with a with a stogie. <laughs> I go buy some cowboy boots and just walk up and down my hall. Like, <laughs> yo, man. I miss yeah, we. Man, I, man, it's good I, to be a Panther, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, the, the, the corner room. I wouldn't even care if it didn't work out. <laughs> sorry, the corner room might just be <laughs> slacking if it went this way. Yeah, bro. But that offense. Ain't uh, nobody going to be upset. 
<laughs> Only an uh, idiot would come in mad. <laughs> you can't be mad about everything you got on on the offensive side. And you still got a linebacker. And you still got your edge. And you got your man, look. Uh, I'm just saying. That's a man. Uh, can Miles, uh, I'm on my drafts. Class, I'm on my drafts. Allen, SME are gone in the 80s. SME ain't going in no 80s. He ain't that good. He might be that good, but it's teams need more. <laughs> but this is a stupid draft. <laughs> yeah, this, 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 whoever got this is over this system that they got from yeah, uh, y'all simulators. Need <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all need stay that. out of the simulation, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> This is definitely not it. All right, pull another one up, man. Hey, hey look, it wouldn't be JP7 if he didn't. Jordan Travis isn't going to get Bryce out of Carolina. Yes, he is, bro. You need to be worried about your boy, McCarthy, bro. You need to be worried about him. Because I can't wait till the um, until that round table, bro. I got so much to say about that dude, man. Like, I'm trying to – he ain't the guy y'all think he is. And JP know that too, man. He just don't want to admit it. I said, let me pull up a different mock, man. But uh, there y'all go, man. But this one, take a look, cause it's never gonna happen. <laughs> 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 I mean, we would love it. <laughs> I would be mad at it. Well, there's definitely some guys coming back in the linebacker room. Leota, Leota, Liatu. We got a. Uh, who else we got in that corner room? Let me think. Yeah, it's, it's some guys coming back. But we definitely need more top tier talent. All right. Mm. And I'm willing to trade that 39 pick. I'm not giving up that 33 unless they give me an overhaul. I ain't trading it. <clears throat> But you know what we could do? I think you go to NFL I'm draft. Very club. close behind it. <laughs> we could we could try to trade Mingo and see see what the simulator said you're gonna get for him. You could package Mingo too, man. It ain't gotta be just him by itself. Mm-hmm. Um which NFL? Okay. Have you have you ever used NFL Draft Buzz? Yeah, yeah, I've used that one. That was decent. Yeah, was and good. they and they show you, uh, they size and measurements. Pause. No diddy. <laughs> Man, it really sucks to be puffy these days, bro. He gonna wind up knocking somebody out one day. <laughs> no diddy, bro. That no diddy gonna get somebody in trouble. <laughs> mm-hmm. This well, might be so a little bit. This this is gonna be a little closer. It's not gonna be. I don't think as accurate as PFF, but it's gonna be. It's gonna be pretty decent. But we can also, you know, like I said, do that trade for Mingo, which I think that's since that's just the buzz going around. Let's see what reality looks like if we traded them. We'll keep it at the sixty speed. Um, seven rounds. Yeah, pick your team. Uh, random factor for CPU selections, too. What's the random factor? That's when it is all over the place. You... Let me just go back to one. So is it better to be one or four? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll see if that first, the first 10 picks come off. If it's just well, we'll if know it that. crazy, yeah, we'll just start it over. It's like, ah. Uh, Anywhere in hell. All right, so we the Panthers. And the draft. Oh, yeah, this is nice. Got the pictures and everything. Oh, yeah, it's, it looks good. Mm, okay, so let's start the draft. Here we go. Man, they're killing me with the ads, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So you're going to get these ass, brother. <laughs> so, okay, hold on. Pa- hold on. Pause, 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 pause. Do what? Pause it real quick because go to the top. There's no way that's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who the who's Chicago getting a quarterback? Well, where's Drake May at though? That's what I'm saying. So yeah, go back to two. All right. There's no <laughs> Yeah, there's no way it's going like that because they ain't got no quarterback. They not about to run back out there with old buddy that beat us. Or two? Yeah, I think two is more. I'm going to leave it there. I wanted to see, I wanted to be as true to form as possible. So I'm wondering if four, four? is like the least. Yeah, let's try that. See, and then we'll know that somewhere in the middle of this crazy like that. End of the draft. Start the draft. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, this is yeah. extra stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So two, two is more like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's like go back to two. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Well, this is straight, man, bro. This is extra stupid. <laughs> At least we know now. They said, look, we told you to stay, keep it at two, bro. <laughs> All right. Uh, and I understand these, these websites that have these, these ads. That's how they make their money, advertising. Yeah. That's why I try to keep them down as much as I can, bro. They ain't paying me, man. This is more realistic. Yeah. Except that Drake make that Drake man, none of these drafts like Drake made to go high, bro. Uh-uh. Oh man, I just saw Penix go. <laughs> I think Penix going in the first round. He going number sixteen. Who 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 team is that? Is that the Raiders? Who's who's that? Seahawks. Possible. Six What's his name? Russell. Middle. Russell ain't uh not Russell. Gino ain't there for a long time. He don't have a long contract. I think this is last year on his contract, to be honest with you. They're gonna resign him. So we're Probably on the clock. Long contract. Do you wanna try to trade Mingo now and see if we can get Hey look, third? you know what that Seahawks situation do sound it's logically it does make sense because he played in Seattle. That's true too. He played now, college in Seattle. So. I don't think he's going to get past the Raiders. And then w- what about New York? What if New York pick him up at, at six? So it's on us? It's on us. You want to propose a trade with Flamingo? Yeah, let's do that. So go down, scroll down uh, on the Panther side. You can pick the players. No, 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 no. Just scroll down. Like where the where the where the where our picks are at. Yeah, this is the further to go down. No, no. Go on to the where it says select draft selection. You can scroll down on that. Oh, I know she's talking about right here. Yeah. yeah, keep going. All right, all right. So now we see where everything we got. All right, now go back to the top and select the trade. At the very top. 
the skirt out a little bit. You know, select a trade. Or make a trade. Yeah, make a trade. Mm. Then you scroll down and pick a uh, player, and it'll show our roster. Oh, you really have been on this joint? Yeah. Uh, It'll do offense first, and I think defense. There you go. Add to the trade. And then you're going to pick the team that you want to trade with. That's what it says, team. Uh, Go to team console? Mm Mm-hmm. Took it out. Nah, he's still there. Oh, he's still there. And then uh, we're we're just a uh, uh, it should be a place where you can pick the team that you want to trade with. See if I see it. That's what I would have picked team console. But that's just showing our team. What's the saying underneath the team console? Cancel trade. See, chat, no one. It's so small, I can barely see it. Hold on, let me make it bigger. All right. No daddy. (laughs) (laughs) I said, hold on, let me make it bigger. (laughs) No (laughs) daddy. Uh, and then, oh, go to add to trade. Add to trade. Okay. Maybe that's it right there. No, up there underneath the council trade. Add to trade. No, that's a person. You sure? Yes. Yeah, um, somebody manning Austin Guard out of Hawaii. Man, let's forget bingo, bro. All right. This is cancel, tra- cancel trade now. Just hit cancel trade. I'm wondering if we made a pick, would it just tell you, like, okay, so. All right, we have 33. Uh, oh, let me go there. This is all tackle. Mm. So I think realistically they'll go out there a receiver. I don't know how Brian, how Brian Thompson, Thomas fell right there. There's no way that's going to happen. But if he's there. Decal says, says, say, off the trade. Yeah. We got tired of it. The orange bar stole up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you got to, yeah, you got to offer trade. Yeah, that's what it was. Sure, so let's go back to it then. So, you know, make a trade. Bam. Select the draft. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, you got to select the team right here. Yeah, select team. Let's go to Buffalo. All right. Go to the player. So what do they want? Yeah. 
Oh, hell, hell, hit, make a trade, pick our player first. You're already up there, man. You're already up there. Mm. Then scroll back up. Select team. Let's see what Washington got, because the Bills, I ain't, I ain't. Yeah, we got to talk to somebody we can finesse. <laughs> Let's say for that next year. I'll say that's 78. What? That's 78. For this year? Yeah, that's what I would try. Man, they going to – let's just let's start for the 100. <laughs> we already got 100. For the third you know round. Uh-huh. If you don't go through, they'll decline it. And then – uh. And then scroll back up. Offer trade. Man, I don't even know what this. This is on my screen, bro. <laughs> Man, this thing is trash, bro. Remember to drink water. <laughs> Malta, I guess that means no deal. <laughs> hey, man, we're just going to do it the regular way, man. <laughs> this dude, this dude ain't acting up, bro. I don't know what hat I'm gonna wear on draft night, bro. Panthers or or, or Florida State, but we're gonna have at least nine selections. <laughs> all right, start draft. We're gonna be all over this. You, got, you already got the Panthers pick. All right. Yeah, sometimes it acts a little funky, and you just gotta go back and do it again. But yeah. <laughs> Enter draft. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Man, look, oh man. They got did Jared you, Verse. I know they ain't got Jared Verse going did first. You to, did you start the draft? <laughs> they already had it already up there though. <laughs> Man, I don't care about the first round anyway. They went through all this work to make this thing, man, look great. And then <laughs> all these dumb picks. <laughs> and then they don't even get it right. Yeah, I've never seen an actor this bad. Yeah, they got Nate Wiggins. He gone. Thirty-three. Oh, uh, pick twenty. Mm-hmm. 
Man, that's stupid. I'm taking them. I don't even want to do this draft, man. These, these people are not going to be available, bro. <laughs> like we just said earlier, we've seen some stuff like this before yeah. in the draft. Be like, what? I didn't see the Giants picking J- uh, uh, Daniel Jones in the first, I'm first round. I'm like, what? Well, Go ahead. Man, Brian Thomas is not going to be there. So let's let's act like he ain't there. Let's act like he ain't there. This is who yeah. you got. So, hey, hey guys, I'm going to ask the chat, man. Coleman or Leggett? Coleman or Leggett? Don't even ask me. You already know where I'm going. <laughs> Coleman or Leggett? Who would you take, Pop? Uh, I would take Coleman. <laughs> Coleman or Leggett? All right. Juan always leave me with the hard work, the dirty work. <laughs> Here we go. Look at the chief, bro. Look at the chief. Go, 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 to, go to all. <laughs> mm, I'm. Mm, there's Robinson right there. Uh, I'm taking Robinson. Oh, you really want to go on the defensive side of the ball? I mean, go to uh, offensive line. And we just got um, uh, Clowney, bro. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know if DJ want him going. Be healthy. Put him on the other side. Mm. All right, you said go to what now? Office alignment. I mean, you can go to edge. You can see what's. I mean, I'm willing to look at an edge position. There's Robinson right there. That's who I would draft. And then I would go to my center next. No. Why? That's who that you got your wide receiver, you got your your, your other edge rusher. Better go to your center now then. I think I can get I think I can get a center at sixty five. I mean, this is this is what y'all said earlier. We ain't gotta go right away and get it with the thirty-three, thirty-nine. We don't. Get them later. But um, yeah, I don't. All right, man. <laughs> okay, so I can see with DL. I don't think they look. So I'm trying to go realistic on this. I don't realistically think they're going to take a center at 65, bro. They probably won't. I don't blame I wouldn't either. Yeah, I want to keep it real. That, that'll, that, that'll be my third to third pick in the center. I want the best center I can get. I'm going to treat – look, man. Let's just see how <laughs> – I'm going to flame for these. Look, if this dude is available <laughs> – let me see if he's available first, bro. I 
Bro, listen. We don't even know how long. Look, man, I just can't see us not getting this guy, bro. Trey Benson is a big, fast back. <laughs> yeah, you got other big Blake, backs in Blake there, though. Corm, Blake Corm, wish he would get picked up beforehand. <laughs> so we on the clock. See who's at uh, center. Christian Mahogany there. We got a dude from the Ivy League up here. Damn, this is not looking good. I did. I did like Mahogany, though, but not here. Oh, you ain't scrolling away up this time. Okay. Damn. <laughs> yeah, this shit's trash. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going I'm to go with what I know. <laughs> I'm going to go with what I know, man. Look, I just don't see, look, man. I don't see us not doing this. I don't see us not doing this. Yeah, I would take Braylon Allen later. No, now we don't even have to touch Estime. Mm. Audric. You still got it on running back. Get the Blake dude still up here. They they trying to make it seem like <laughs> he wish he was better. Man. So far. Man, when did we pick again, bro? Okay. One on one. That's why I'm. That's why I want to trade between, so I can get somewhere between that sixty five and that one on one. Is it like pick eighty? We on the clock. We gotta go, O lineman. Yeah, right. Dwayne. Dwayne Carter there. Uh, I ain't taking no O lineman if you don't make sense, Pop. Damn, he got to make sense. Venter, that's what I'm going to go with. At guard? At center. Yeah, center. I'm, I'm oh, going to yeah. make him yeah, move him to center, yeah. Bro, didn't you but, just say you was against us moving our own man to center? You could play guard in college and play center in NFL. A lot of guards come out of college playing. You want to – all right, man. Nine times ten, he's gonna nine times ten. Zach Zinter is center. Zach Zinter is center. But I would, I want to draft the running back that high. There's no way in hell I'm doing that. Look, man, I'm just keeping in the back of my head. They said they want to get Bryce weapons, <laughs> and if yeah. they trying to get the ball out of his hands more, it's a little too rich for me. You turn around and turn and hand the ball off to that guy. <laughs> With the line we got that we building. Hold up, man. Let's look at Edge. We just got an Edge. No, we didn't. Yeah, we did. Darius Robinson. We went Robert. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. We, we went do to get him. Yeah, go to all. Yeah. Let me see what all talking about. So you can go corner, you can go linebacker, tight end. I wouldn't mind going corner. I wouldn't mind going corner. I think they will try to – we got rid of D-Jack. And I think they will, uh, you know, look at the corner position. So let's, let's look at that. What's the – DB, DB, DB. Yeah. yeah, I ain't Kyrie, touching Cam Hart. Kyrie Jackson, I like I like Cam Hart. Crushed. <laughs> He's small, I believe. Let me look at his profile. No, I'm not talking about Kyrie Jackson small. I'm talking about Cam Hart. I think he's a little small. Oh yeah, I'm not touching him anyway. But Kyrie Jackson, I, 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 I would take him. Yeah, I would take him. 
They don't intercept the ball like that, though. He get a lot of net, tackles, net, a lot of net. solo tackles, but is he getting beat before he tackles them? These guys are not finished product, Twan. <laughs> He's a senior, too, man. He was in college the whole time. Good. He got an education. Yeah. Hey, good. And he man, cover your, I think, and he I cover think your tight end. Setup, Look, man, I think this setup is the best looking setup for these mock drafts. It's just dumb. It's unrealistic. <laughs> man, the look, the way they break the players down and the schools, the logos and all that, it's crazy. Kyrie's got my boat. Cover tight ends too. Go to D line. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I know something we can both agree on. Linebacker. <laughs> Cedric Gray is right there. Yeah. Is that too? You talk about him all year, Pop. <laughs> I, I, I like him. And I, you I sold like me him. on the duel. Like, I watch more film on him. Like, I like him. I mean, I like him. I'm not mad at it. But, you know, I can get Tommy Etchenberg with my 141. Okay, well then let's do that, man. Says you great it is, bro. You wanna see? It's crazy we only got this amount of picks in this draft, bro. Oh, oh they didn't even update us. They ain't got our one forty one. Oh that's they missing our one forty one. Got one forty two. We got one forty one and one forty two. Oh, we do? Yes, so this is not even up. This is not even updated. Damn. Uh, <laughs> so we won't get the we won't have the one sixty six anymore. We Man, this is one of the best looking mock draft setups, and they. Pick coming up anyway, though. I got to go corner. I we got go three corner. more. So, yeah, I'll I go ahead and just go to that right now and wait on it. Uh, I guess I'm going with Cam Smith Wade. What you know about this dude, man? Yeah, all right. He had a, he had a good senior ball, too. I like Jalen um, Simpson a little better, though. Pass defense is through there. You know what's crazy is like I don't like to always go by what they did in college, bro. Then we can't talk about none of these players if we do that. I said all <laughs> like like one like I, I I'm basically saying like I like to talk about what they like how they gonna fit. Six, Six foot one seven run a fofo. Run a fofo. All right, man. Let me let me see what he looked like real quick. He five ten, and he's slower <laughs> with no interceptions. <laughs> All right, we'll go with your boy. I mean, we don't have to take the corner, but if you know, if you want to, well, kind of need it. I would agree. All right. See what Kalen King Penn State look like. Nope. I don't want nobody from Penn State. I'm sorry. What is wrong with this dude right here, bro? What's what, what you mean? Your Nigerian brother. What's up, my man? What's up with the carpet <laughs> on his head, bro? He kind of look like what's his name from um, what was that old uh, Wesley Snipes and um. Let's switch nice in uh, Slavesta Salon. What was that movie? Oh, what's the yeah. nice what's the Salon? You're talking about Demolition Man. Yeah, Demolition Man. <laughs> Look, man, I'm going to leave it right here, Pop. 
uh, for right now. Um, wifey is not feeling great at all. <laughs> so, right, you got to right. go tend to her, bro. Hey, look, man. First of all, let me go ahead and say to the people, man, you know what I'm saying? Thank you for sticking here with us today. You know, I think when when I think a lot of times when we start doing these mock drafts, it start losing people's interest. Because if you at work, they like, man, I can't see it. <laughs> I can only I, I got my headies on. But uh, you know, I mean that last week though, it's gonna be it's gonna be all the way live though. And uh, we'll see what's going on from there. But look, man. I want to thank Poppin' Bullets for coming on here, man, showing up. Appreciate it. Real quick, you know what I'm saying? And Nick said he was coming back, but he ain't never come back. He fired. Oh, <laughs> well. But the fire. I like you, Nick. You know, 704 Charlotte Bounce Show don't want to do right, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like I got pig slips. <laughs> But look, Take Pop, your locker, man, home boy. let them know where you can, um, where they can find you, man. Shout out. I mean, you can find me on the Black Cat Panther podcast. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, man. We still putting out content. Make sure you go also check out the Black Cat Panther uh, after dark. It's when it gets real ugly. I mean, it's uncut, raw. Hey, you don't want to miss it, man. Subscribe, become a member, man. You know, hey, we'll holla at you. Uh man, shout out to everybody that was on the show today, man. Shout out to Benjikins has been the building flame for Jesus. Uh uh, uh my man uh King Jermaine JP Shepherd D Cash was in the building. Maul, uh who else? Claire was up in the air, man. Uh everybody that joined us today, man. Appreciate you guys for being here. Uh I got Oh, don't forget old, old buddy that was banned. Oh, oh yeah, I'm gonna take care of him. I take care. Yeah, shout out yeah. to him for, for coming through. Yeah, for coming through. You know what I'm saying? The man came through just to be like, "Hey, look, man. Say, hey, hey, y'all gotta fix this." <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna fix it, man. Uh, shout out to y'all, man. I hope y'all have a, a blessed Friday, man. And um, I don't, I don't, I don't know what what else to say to y'all though. You know what I'm saying? Except, bro, look, the excitement time is around the corner. And the stage is set so far, man, uh, for what we're going to do. I don't think we're going to make any more moves before the draft. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Uh, but uh, I think we're done with that. I mean, not a lot of people want to see Gilmore come to the team, but it don't look like that's going to happen. I think they probably going to want to go young. So they may even go higher than we did with the cornerback. But, um, you know, hey, look, man, I like Dan Morgan. I like what he's doing. Uh, you know, none of us want to see David Tepper in that war room that night, but he gonna be in. <laughs> it's just he gonna be yeah, in. You can bet your Bojangle biscuit, he gonna be in there. <laughs> you know, he, he's a he's a toddler. He, he gotta touch stuff, man. Uh, this is seven oh four Charlotte Bounce Show. We'll see y'all next time very soon, man. Very soon, man. Shout out to everybody out there, man. That did Ramadan and it's finally over with, man. Shout out to you, man, and a happy Mubarak. With everybody out there, man, alhamdulillah, man. This is Twan Don. I said what I said. 704 Charlotte Brown Show. We out.